Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Saturday afternoon basketball here at the Jackets Nest. This afternoon, the Jeff Davis Yellow Jackets will be taking on the Appling County Pirates in a couple of games. The girls will be starting here in just a few minutes, and then the boys will follow this afternoon. The girls coming off of a tough loss last night against Telfair County. That score was 47-42. That was on the road in McCray. So the Lady Jackets hoping to bounce back tonight, uh, this afternoon, and get a big win over our arch rival, Appling County. We'll take a break here and get some words from our sponsors. We'll take two minutes. This is the Jeff Davis Hospital Basketball Network. Jeff Davis High School would like to thank the following alumni sponsors for their support of Yellow Jacket Athletics. Sweet Teas, Flowers, Gifts, and Custom Framing, Laney Internal Medicine Group, Lumber City Drugs, Cotton Partners, The Bedroom Store, Hazelhurst Auto, Pig Out Barbecue, Southern Root Salon, Stone's Machine Shop, Comfort Zone Heating and Air, Whitfield Free Love, South Georgia Dentistry, Coleman Tire and Auto, Altmulgee Outdoors, Water Service Center, Raglan Timber, Pallet One, McPherson Manufacturing, Renaissance Bank, Family Healthcare Connections, Davis Farm and Garden, Theater of Hazelhurst, Jeff Davis County Farm Bureau, and Bridgeford Church of God. Make tailgating easy and delicious with help from Three Rivers Meat Company in Hazelhurst. Three Rivers Meat Company offers specialty cuts of beef, pork, chicken, and seafood. They also have several types of the in-house made fresh sausage. If you need a grill, they're the exclusive dealer for Traeger Grills in Hazelhurst. To place your order in advance, call 912-551-9621 or visit their beautiful meat counter at 90 West Coffee Street. Go Jackets from Derek Wooten and the Meat Professionals at Three Rivers Meat Company in Hazelhurst. At Altima Hall Bank & Trust, we strive to help you live your best life. That means offering loans for nearly any dream or goal. With competitive rates, local processing, and quick decisions, we can customize a loan to fit your needs. This is Misty Boatwright, Relationship Manager at the Hazelhurst Branch. Come see me today at 57 North Tallahassee Street or visit our website at altimahall.bank. And let's work together to achieve your financial goals. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. The Bank of Hazelhurst is Jeff Davis County's only locally owned and operated bank, serving their friends and family since 1906. They offer a wide array of services, including personal, commercial, and electronic banking services, along with mortgage and ag lending. For more information on the services they offer, call them at 912-375-4228. Download their banking app or contact them online at bankofhazelhurst.com. The Bank of Hazelhurst. When others have their branches, they have their roots. We're back here at the Jackets Nest. This is Jim Sewell here, and we're getting set this afternoon for a Matinee basketball is the Lady Jackets taking on the Appling County Lady Pirates here in the first game. Then the boys will take on the Appling County in the nightcap. Appling County coming in just one game so far on the season. A loss to Wayne County earlier this week. The Lady Jackets come into action tonight at 1-6 overall on the season. They lost last night on the road at Telfair County by a score of 47-42. So a, uh, a tough, tough loss there, heartbreaking loss for the Lady Jackets and a close one last night, hoping to bounce back here this afternoon against the Appling County Lady Pirates. I want to take a second and give a big shout out to our Recreation Department eight and under football team as they won a state championship up in Carrollton today. Uh, congratulations to all of our Baby Jackets as they're getting, setting a, a foundation for the, our football program in the future. That is a second state championship that the Jeff Davis Recreation Department teams have won in GRPA here so far this fall as the 12 and under boys won a state championship here at Jeff Davis last week. Our 10 and under boys are playing for a state championship this afternoon also in Carrollton. So we look hopefully uh, they can come out on the top end of that one and we'll get a clean sweep in three state championships in recreation basketball. The Jackets, uh, of course, uh, that's a building block for our varsity program, our JV program, our middle school football program. And so that's a good sign of things to come uh, for, the lady, for the Jeff Davis Yellow Jacket football program as right now the uh, up in Atlanta at old Turner Field, the Georgia State 
um, stadium now. The state high school football playoffs are underway. They're in their third day of action. They had uh, started out uh, Thursday evening with the single A teams. Had double A starting off action yesterday, and in double A, which the Jackets are in that classification, the Prince Avenue Christian School beat out Fitzgerald, the Purple Hurricane, losing in that state championship battle uh, yesterday. Uh, so uh, good luck, though. Uh, congratulations to Prince Avenue, and also congratulations to our region rival, the Fitzgerald Purple Hurricanes, on a fantastic season. Their only loss coming in that state championship game as they were trying to defend their state championship from last year when they won it uh, last year in 2021. So the game's still going on this afternoon up there in the Dome, and we're going on into the night tonight. Night cap tonight, we'll have the 7A matchup, which is, I guess, the marquee matchup of all the largest classification in high school football. We're about four and a half minutes away from the opening tip. I'm going to take a time out get some, some more words from our sponsors. Two-minute break here on the Jeff Davis Hospital Basketball Network. Since their founding in 1968, the Beasley Group has become a vertically integrated leader in the forest products industry, and this growth has made them the largest hardwood sawmill in the United States and North America's foremost producer of crane mats and timbers for the energy transmission, utility, and construction industries. The Beasley Group is proud to be members of the Hazelhurst and Jeff Davis County community. They are also proud supporters of all Jeff Davis High School sports. Go Jackets from the Beasley Group. CNH Creative Flooring can make your floors beautiful. They are this area's foremost experts when it comes to concrete grinding, polishing, crack repair, and epoxy coatings. They offer hundreds of color epoxy flake systems to choose from, custom metallics, neat coats, inlaid emblems, and much more. Whether it's your home, garage, man cave, pool deck, sidewalks, porches, or carport, let us help you make it gorgeous, safe, colorful, and skid resistant. Call Daryl Hutto at 912-381-9037 or Cody Carter at 912-592-5493 or message them on Facebook. EP American Footwear in Hazelhurst is proud to be a part of the Hazelhurst Jeff Davis community and are proud sponsors of all Jeff Davis County sports. If you're looking for a great job with a great company, they are hiring for all shifts. You can apply in person Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 at 10 North Hill Street in Hazelhurst. Go Jackets from all the folks at EP American Footwear of Hazelhurst. Go Jackets! Experience a better way to bank at Interstate Credit Union in Hazelhurst, where they offer a wide variety of loans. Interstate Credit Union is second to none when it comes to low rates and great customer service, specializing in personal loans, new home and construction loans, and automobile loans, as well as many other types. Their broad services include personal checking, savings, business, in-person, online, and mobile banking, and much, much more. Visit them at 14 Henson Street or call 912-375-0640, or you can contact them online at interstatecu.org. Get underway with this afternoon's action. Opening game, the Jeff Davis Lady Yellow Jackets taking on the Apple County Lady Pirates. And the girls JV team played uh, uh, just prior to this one, the Apple County won a close one. I think it was a three-point game. Appling County taking a, taking a close victory over our JV Lady Jackets. So hopefully we can bounce back here and our Lady Jackets can get a big win as we get ready to go into action tonight. The officials, team captains just finishing up their meeting at center court. We're about two minutes away from the opening tip. As we mentioned in the opening, Jeff Davis coming in one and six on the year. Uh, all of these are non-region games. The uh, loss last night coming to the Telfair County Trojans. Uh, Lady Trojans over in McCray. 47-42 was the score in that game. As uh, the Appling County Lady Pirates only action so far is they have lost one game. They've only played one game this year. They lost to the uh, Wayne County Yellow Jackets in a non-region affair. I believe that was earlier this week. And so uh, we'll be at, into action here very shortly here as we're getting set for action coming up. 
as the Jackets will be in all white, white jerseys, white pants with the navy blue numbers, letters trimmed in gold. Applin County in all black with white numbers, white letters. Got a little red trim in there as well. So they're getting set here for opening action coming up here in about 30 seconds or so. We're gonna pause here for our national anthem. There you have the national anthem here from Jeff Davis High School basketball gym as we'll be set here for opening tip-off. Coming up here in just a second, three-man officiating crew coming in. We got uh, Kelsey Parler is going to be missing tonight as she's up in Atlanta accepting, or uh, I'll say she's up in North Georgia somewhere at the Georgia Dugout Club meeting where she received her award for Player of the Year in Class AA. Uh, Coach Stephen Wilcox receiving the Class AA Coach of the Year and Kayla Brown getting Assistant Coach of the Year. Jackets ready to go tip it up. Latrice Shiver's going to jump it. Ball at center court controlled by the Pirates. Barnum with the tip. We'll try to get to the Jackets starting five. Here as we go. On the run, Floated from the far side, it's good. Kenyatta White with the basket. Jackets pushing the ball up floor. Shante Lewis on the dribble, passes underneath to Stinson. Stinson off the glass, no good. Rebound controlled by the Pirates. We got Shante Lewis, Claire Stinson on the floor for the Jackets. Long three point attempt, and that's good. Barnum buries the three-pointer, 5 nothing. Applin County, and they're pressing hard off the foot of that play, Applin player. You've got the cross Shivers. You've got Alira Van, Stinson, Destiny Ivory, and I believe Beautiful Thomas, the five on the floor for the Yellow Jackets. Ball kicked out of bounds by the Pirates, inbound to Van. Man has it knocked away, out of bounds, will stay with the Jackets. Check that, that was just a two-pointer. So four nothing for the Pirates with the early lead. Lewis on the dribble, near side has it taken away. Pushing it up the floor is Barnum. Barnum on a breakaway, lays it up and in. He now has four points, six nothing Pirates, and they go to the full court press, get it into Van. Van across court. Lewis has it up top, check that, that, Stinson has it up top, Shivers rather, I'm sorry. On the drive is Shante Lewis, high off the glass, no good, rebound. Stinson controls it underneath, kicks it out. Block, shot, block, again blocked. Shivers had the had a shot blocked, then Stinson had it blocked, it's out of bounds, will stay with the Jackets. Destiny Ivory will check in. For Shante Lewis. 
Jenna Miles, Annalise Poole, not in the starting lineup. Rebound, jackets up and out, no good, controlled by the Pirates. They push the ball up full quickly. White on the far side, gets it inside. Tippins, Tippins underneath, take that White underneath. Ball stolen by the Pirates. Barnum on the drive and she lays it up and in. She now has six points. The Pirates lead eight nothing. Again in the press, Jack break the press, get it across the timeline, knocked away from behind and stolen. And Pirates take it the other way. Down floor, two pointer, long shot on the far side, no good. Rebound on the floor, controlled by Applin. Applin kicks it back out, sets it up to McKenzie. McKenzie, dribble drive, floater from the left side of the lane, no good, right side of the lane rather. And a control rebound there by Claire Stinson, but she traveled. And now get Annalise Poole into the lineup for Alira Van. Applin unbounding under their own basket. Shot blocked underneath. Controlled by the Pirates. Kicks it out top to Barnum. Barnum on the dribble. Takes it in the lane. This 10 footer no good. Out of bounds. And it will go the Yellow Jackets way. 8 0. Applin County 533 gone here, remaining in the first quarter. Jackets inbound against the press. Shivers has it knocked out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Jackets. And Annalise Poole will trigger it in. Poole gets it into beautiful Thomas, who backs it back to Poole. Poole has the ball stolen away. And here comes the Pirates on the break. Barnum on another breakaway. Lays it up in, a hoop and some harm. And she now has eight of the Pirates' ten points. And will step to the line to try to make it a three-point play. 5.20 remaining in the opening period. Erica Clemens will check in for the Pirates as McKenzie takes a seat. Barnum at the line, trying to complete the three-point play. Shot is up, banks it off the glass. He now has nine. Jackets to inbound against the press. And get a whistle. Destiny Ivory draws a foul. McKenzie called for the foul. That's her first. Inbound. Stolen by the Pirates. Underneath, not the way. Stolen by Poole. Poole on the drive. Pulls it back out as the numbers work our way. Gets it into Shiver. Shiver drives baseline. Tries to dish it off to Thomas on the far side. She finally chases it down in the corner. Gets it back up top to Shivers. Shivers looking for Poole. Poole gets it far side. Three-pointer along. It's on the way. She's fouled on the arm and will step to the foul line. Barnum called for the foul. And Poole will have three shots. 11-0, Haplin County. Annalise with the first one, puts it in there. Sets up for the second one. In there with a two, two shots rather than three. So 11-2 as Annalise Poole makes both the shots. 450 remaining in the opening period. Long cross court pass, three pointer, a far side air ball. Controlled under there by Stinson, who finally gets it out to Poole. Poole in traffic, has it stolen away. Dish underneath to Barnum, Barnum high off the glass and is good. She now has 11. 13-2, the Pirates with the lead. Steal by Barnum on the inbound, misses the shot. Low ball controlled by the Pirates. On the far side. A hard foul over there. Not intentional. But the foul against the Yellow Jackets will be their second team foul. Destiny Ivory 
Picks up her first. And the Pirates will inbound. Are they gonna call a technical? An intentional foul, flagrant foul rather. So happen at the line, everybody clears away. Shot is good. Kalia Hayes will get another, and then Appen will maintain possession. That one missed. 14-2, the Pirates with the lead. They'll inbound half court on this near side over here, left side of the court. Inbound by Pirates. They pitch in the lane. Pass it underneath, turn around, jump underneath, short, no good. Stinson clears the board, gets it out to Poole. Poole pushing the ball up court against numbers. Trapped in the corner, dribbles out of it, has the ball knocked away, out of bounds, will stay and get a push. And it will go over to the Jackets as Annalise Poole charged on the pushing foul. Three team fouls now for the Jackets. Pirates attacking, three-pointer from the corner, high off the backboard, no good. Loose ball picked up by the Pirates from just inside the circle, no good. Ball's out of bounds and will stay with Appling County. 3.52 remaining in the opening period, 14-2. Pirates with a 12-point lead. Barnum with a three, no good. Loose ball controlled by the Pirates again. Three-pointer from out at the top of the key, that's high off the glass, no good. Annalise Poole clears the rebound. Up court, intercepted by the Pirates, and they'll try to take it the other way. Chivers on the defense, slows them down. High pass in the corner, no good, out of bounds. And the Jackets will control the inbound. 3.31 remaining here in the opening period. Jackets inbound against pressure. Lewis gets it up over to Poole. Poole pulls it away from a pirate, gets to the head. Long court, long pass up, knocked back in on the far side. Knocked out of bounds was good heads up play over there. By Destiny Ivers, she knocked it back in off of a pirate. The Jackets will inbound right side near the baseline. Inbounds pass is knocked away, stays with Jeff Davis. 23-21 in the first. Jackets trail by 12. Inbound in far court. Looking to get the ball in under pressure. Finally gets it into Poole. Poole drives the lane, dishes underneath to Ivory. Ivory back out to Lewis. Lewis, a three-pointer in and out. And the Pirates control the boards and push it back the other way. Long pass down to Barnum. Barnum cross court underneath and the foul as Kalia Hayes will go to the line. Shantae Lewis picks up her first foul. 14 fouls now on the Jackets. 307 remaining in the first. First shot from Hayes is good. Hits the second. Lyra Van is going to check back in. This is for Claire Stinson. Second shot on the way, nothing but net. Hayes now with three, and the lead is 14. Shante Lewis has it stolen away, but picked up in the backcourt by the Jackets. Get a foul called on, on the three Shivers as she will draw the foul. Barnum picks up her second. Jackets inbound, cross court, and shot. Lewis travels, turns the ball over, 257 remaining here in the first period. 16-2, Appling County with the lead. The 
Beautiful Thomas in for Patrice Shivers. Happen attacking McKenzie with the ball, dribbles far side, dishes off. To Cheaty, Cheaty underneath, no good, cleared by the Jackets as Erica Clemens comes up short on the three foot jumper. Lewis driving lane, dishes off underneath to Destiny Ivory who puts it in. 16 4 now, the Jackets. Destiny picks up her first two points. Happening on the attack, Farnham dishes down in the corner. Trying to drive baseline out of bounds belongs to Jeff Davis. Kiara, Kiara White checking in. Long pass down court to Ivory. Ivory loses the handle on his chest. Had numbers going the other way, but Happen controls. Dish down underneath, back up top. White, no good. Long rebound out to the Pirates. Pirates trying to drive underneath. Fantasy Fantasia Chidi. Looks like she drew the foul underneath. Fifth team foul on the Jackets as Alira Van picks up her first foul. So Fantasia Chidi steps to the line as Appen leads it by 12. Okay, that, by, that missed off the side of the rim. 16-4, 2-0-1 remaining in the opening period. Chidi back to the line. About three dribbles, flexes her knees, puts it up and comes up absolutely empty. Air ball there and that will turn it over and it belongs to the Jackets. They will have to inbound underneath the basket against full court pressure. Gets it into Poole. Poole dribbling near side, pushing the ball up court. Crosses center court against pressure. Dishes underneath to Ivory. Ivory turnaround jumper in. It's good. Destiny Ivory now with four points. Jackets cut the Pirate lead to 10, 16-6. 143 remaining in the first. Happen on the attack. Barnum has it up top. That far side, pass inside. Knocked away by the Jackets and controlled under there by Shante Lewis. Lewis on the dribble, trying to dribble out of pressure. Pushes up far side. Gets it ahead. Collision is a, both Jeff Davis and an Applin player going for the ball and going to get a foul. And it's going to be against the Jackets and the Pirates will now be shooting one if one. Beautiful Thomas picks up her first foul. Thomas heads to the bench as Latrice Shivers checks back in the game. We've got Van Poole, Lewis, Ivory, and Shivers now on the floor for the Jackets. McKenzie at the line, misses. Long rebound, chased down by Poe, gets it ahead to Shiver. Shivers on the dribble, has it stolen from behind by Barnum. Barnum circles the baseline and heads the other way. Long dribble up top, and we're going to get a foul against Shante Lewis. That'll put Applin back at the line with 68 seconds remaining. Claire Stinson will be checking back into the game. Two fouls on Lewis, and she'll have to take a seat. Okay, that. First shot on the way, no good. Rebound by Applin. High shot off the glass, rebounded underneath by that's Destiny Ivory. Ivory gets head to Poole. Poole's in traffic, trying to dribble away, gets it ahead to Shiver. Shivers. Launches a three from the top of the key, high off the glass. Going to be out of bounds off of the Pirates and will stay with the Jackets with 53 seconds remaining, 16-6. Here's the score. Applin with the lead, Van to trigger it in. Gets it far side to Shiver. Shiver shot good from about eight feet. Shivers picks up two. 
16-8. The Jackets have cut the lead to eight. Under 40 to play now. Barnum dribbling far side, drives the baseline, puts up a shot, no good. Brought out there by Van. Van pushing it up quickly against Press, taking it all the way in. It's going to be fouled on the drive. Hard foul on the Lira Van by Kira White. And that'll send Alira to the line. White picks up her second foul. Jackets, they said it was not a shooting foul. Inbound underneath to Ivory. Ivory too high off the glass. Fighting underneath is Stinson, but Applin County controls it. We're going to get a reach in on Destiny Ivory. And that will let the Pirates walk to the other end of the floor for uh, two free throws. As now they're eight. That's the Jackets' eight team foul in the quarter. So they in the double bonus. 16-8 is our score. As Samaria McKenzie steps to the line, his first shot bounces around and comes out. Iron not very kind to Samaria that time. For the second, that one too hard off the back iron, controlled underneath by the Pirates, and we'll get another foul called on the Jackets. McKenzie will go back to the line. She followed her own shot in. Destiny Ivory picks up her second personal. Jack has a lot of fouls here in this first period. Got a couple players already with two personals. McKenzie misses again. She's missed three in a row from the charity strike. 20 seconds remaining in the first quarter. That one's off the side iron, recovered, rebounded by the Jackets, pushing ahead to look. Check that to Shivers, Shivers. Got it underneath to, to Stinson. Stinson puts it in. 16-10. Down lead down to six for the Pirates. Jackets fall back in his own defense. At the buzzer, shot is no good. And we've reached the first quarter break. Applin County 16, Jeff Davis 10. Let's take a 60 second timeout. This is the Jeff Davis Hospital Basketball Network. At Jeff Davis Hospital in Hazelhurst, we are committed to building a healthy community. We use the latest technology and our knowledgeable team members provide exceptional state-of-the-art care to our local community and surrounding areas. We provide a respectful understanding of care for our patients and their loved ones. For more information about Jeff Davis Hospital and the services we provide, call 912-375-7781 or visit us online at jeffdavishospital.org. Dr. Kirkman Syak and his health care professionals at the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic care about their patients. The Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic offers prompt health care for acute sicknesses and treatments for a wide range of non-emergency illnesses and injuries. To make an appointment, call 912-375-4884 or visit them at 22 Cross Street in Hazelhurst. Go Jackets and God bless from Dr. Kirkman Syak and his team at the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic. Second quarter about to get underway. Applin 16, Jeff Davis 10. Possession arrow is pointing towards the Jackets. They'll inbound at midcourt here on the near side. Annalise Poole will come over to trigger it in. Applin picks everybody up in a man-to-man -man defense. Back into the backcourt to Shivers. Shivers picks up her dribble, in trouble, and we're gonna get a whistle. And going to get a foul against Appling. Micaiah Tippins picks up her first foul. Jackets trying to inbound at midcourt. Trying to get it in against pressure. Gets it into Ivory. Ivory gets it up. Poole drives the baseline near side. Tries to pass underneath to look to Shivers, but it was kicked out of bounds and belongs to Appling County. Just underway here in the second period, Pirates, Lady Pirates with a six point lead, 16-10. Pirates work the perimeter. Far side, Clemens, Clemens over to McKenzie. McKenzie's shot is no good, cleared by the Jacket. Van 
has it under pressure, passes up court to Shivers. Shivers on the dribble, far side, turns around, and we get a whistle and traveling called on the three Shivers. Jackets turn it over, 729 remaining in the first half. Pirates coming up trying to add to a six point lead. Pass down in the corner, underneath, shot high off the side of the backboard, no good controlled by Appling. Loose ball chased down out in three quarter court. McKenzie has it back up top. Working down in the corner, driving the lane far side, no good, rebound far side by the Pirates, back underneath, ball still in the Pirates' hands. Checks it back out to McKenzie. McKenzie off to Clemens. Clemens travels and turnover will go to the Jackets. 6.57 remaining. Oh, and the first half. Jackets inbound in the backcourt. A cross court pass to Shivers. Shivers pushing it up quickly. Pirates pick them up man to man. Driving runner from the left side, no good. Rebound controlled by the Pirates. And McKenzie pushing it hard the other way. Cross court pass underneath. Foul on Erica Clemens by the Jackets. And Clemens will step to the line. As Destiny Ivory picks up her third foul, and that's going to hurt. Clemens at the line, banks the first one in. It's her first points on the night. Afternoon, rather. Shante Lewis checks in for Destiny Ivory. Lewis has two fouls. Got to be careful. Clemens had the line. High shot again high off the glass. 18 to 10. Now the Pirates with the lead. The Jackets will inbound. Low pass. Right through the wicket for Shante Lewis and the Pirates will get the ball out of bounds. Another turnover by the Jackets. They'll inbound underneath their own basket. Pass underneath, laid up and in. Nice cut to the basket by Kira White. And she picks up 220 to 10. The Jackets pull, pushing it up against pressure. Ball's gonna be out of bounds off of her foot. And another Jacket turnover. Pirates have pushed the lead to 10. McKenzie running the point, gets it down low near side. Pass underneath, turn around, jumper off the glass, rebound by Shante Lewis, who pushes the ball quickly the other way. Pirates getting back on defense. Lewis on the near side, steps on the line as she was being pressured by Kenyana White. And the Jackets turn it over, 6-16 in the half. And Applin with a 10 point lead, 20 to 10. McKenzie gets the far side. Back to McKenzie on the near side. Applin works it around with Barnum now running the show. Get a whistle away from the ball. And the Jacket, or Applin's going to take a timeout. Let's take a 30 second break on the Jeff Davis Hospital Sports Network. We'll keep it right here as reset everything. 6.03 remaining in the first half. Appling 20, Jeff Davis 10. Pirates have the ball. One team foul on each team here in the second period. Have a 23 seconds on the shot clock. Fast but action's been so fast paced, the shot clock's really not coming to play. 35 seconds shot clock in high school basketball this year. Applin inbounds McKenzie. McKenzie down in the corner, Barnum. Barnum shot on the way, no good. Rebound underneath and the Jackets had it, but Shivers traveled trying to get out of traffic underneath. So Applin will maintain possession underneath their own basket. Barnum drives from the far side, runner side of the lane, in and out. But following the shot, back high off the glass, no good. Annalise Poole knocks it away, gets it ahead to Shiver. Shiver on the drive, 
Puts it up from the left side from about four feet. Stinson on the rebound, put back no good. Pirates go the other way. Barnum got a two on two break, pass underneath. Looked like some steps there, but Hayes is gonna get it down for a two pointer, makes it 22 to 10. There's a Lear Van now trying to come the other way under pressure and he's gonna turn it over and out of bounds to the Pirates. Hard to dribble out of this man-to-man -man press the Pirates have. 12 point lead for Applin. McKenzie gets it into the foul line. Turn around jumper from 15, no good. Following the shot and putting it back up and in is Kira White. She has four and the Pirates have pushed their lead to 14. Pass stolen in the backcourt by Appling and a foul on Shante Lewis, and that's going to be her third. And that's going to really hurt as she's going to have to go to the bench now. Beautiful Thomas back in the game. you got Thomas, Van, Stinson, Poole, and Shivers on the floor for the Yellow Jackets. 24-10, Appling with the lead as we're at five minute mark here in the first half. Driving to the lane of McKenzie, lays it up and misses the bunny shot right there. Gets it ahead to Shiver. Shiver's in traffic, in a trap. Trying to dribble through it, finally works a way out. Gets it ahead, across to Stinson, who's got a shot on the far side, too hard off the glass. Pirates control, up ahead to Barnum. Barnum spins around and loses the handle, and it's out of bounds, and the turnover goes to Jeff Davis. 437, has this been up and down the floor? Van to inbound. Gets it underneath to Shiver. Shivers dribbling through the press. Coming up far side, knocked away from behind by the Pirates. Barnum came up, tried to make the steal and goes out of bounds, stays with the Jackets in the front court. Jackets trying to get the ball and gets into Stinson. Stinson gets it back to Poole. Poole up across to Shivers. Shivers dragged her foot and a travel call. And at 422, the Pirates will get the ball back, leading by 14, 24 10. McKenzie brings the ball up, gets it to the foul line. A drive and losing the handle is Kira White. Turnover goes back to Jeff Davis. Shivers to key it in, gets it to Thomas. Thomas trying to get it back to Shivers. Almost stolen, but Shivers now comes out, but dribbles on the sideline and turns it right back over to Applin. 410 remaining in the half. Applin to inbound in the front court. Gets it into McKenzie. McKenzie at the top of the key. On the dribble. Gets it to Van Barnum cutting to the basket. She misses the layup. And beautiful Thomas comes out of there with it. Has it knocked away. But Alira Van picks it up. Tries to get a pass ahead. McKenzie on the steal. Gets it ahead to Barnum. Barnum the layup from the left side and is good. Barnum now with 13 in the game. And a timeout call by the Yellow Jackets. 3.46 remains in the first half. 30-second timeout. This is the Jeff Davis Hospital Yellow Jackets Sports Network. Need salvage parts for your new or late model car or truck? Then you should call McCarty Auto Parts, where parts arrive daily, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, at their location at 118 Automaha Road in Hazelhurst. Check out their inventory online 24-7 at McCartyAuto.com. If they don't have the parts you need, they'll find it. Call McCarty Auto Parts in Hazelhurst for all your salvage part needs. 1-800-329-7258. Go Jackets. Make the switch to Mitch for all your over-the-counter and prescription medicine needs. Take advantage of their drive-up window, curbside, and delivery services. The health of you and your family is their priority. Make the switch to Mitch, located at 5 East Coffee Street in Hazelhurst, Monday through Friday from 9 to 6 and 9 to noon on Saturday. Give them a call at 912-699-3784 and make sure to follow them on Facebook. Back here at the Jackets Nest, 346 remaining in the first half. Applin County leads it 26 to 10. 
The Sandy Creek Fighting Patriots have defeated the Cedar Grove Saints 21-17 in the Class AAA State Championship. Applin inbounds, Barnum drives to the basket, puts a shot up, but is fouled. She'll step to the line to shoot a couple. Other action in state championship at Hughes in Class 6A defeated Gainesville last night, 35-28. The Trice Shivers picks up her second. Barnum's shot on the way, in and out. Re rebound by the Pirates, shot underneath, no good. Another shot by the Pirates from underneath. Again, fighting for the rebounds. And finally, loose ball picked up by the Jackets. Beautiful Thomas on the dribble gets it off to Alira Van. Van gets it back to Thomas. Thomas down to Shivers. Shivers, three-pointer, has it blocked. Out of bounds will go to the Jackets. 25-10. Applin County with the lead. The Jackets will inbound near side. Thomas trying to trigger it in. Has the ball deflected on the inbounds pass and stolen by McKenzie. Pirates push it up. Barnum on the breakaway. Lays it up and misses it. Ball on the floor. McKenzie pulls it out. Cross court pass. Shot off the glass. No good. Stinson gets the boards and gets it off to beautiful Thomas underneath. He gets it up ahead to Van. Van working against the press. Double teamed and trying to dribble out of it. Finally gets it ahead to Thomas. Thomas dribbles through. We get a whistle. Now we're going to get a backcourt violation against the Jackets. You got 10 seconds to get it across the timeline, and Jackets cutting 251 remaining in the first half. White on the drive, puts it up from the foul line, no good. Rebound underneath by the Pirates. Again, the Pirates with the rebound. Back in, back out, turn around jumper, no good. Again, Pirates relentless on the boards, rebound. Underneath, out of bounds, will go to Jackets as Kira White just working underneath like a Trojan. 234 remains in the first half. Ball inbound to Poole. Poole has it stolen away, but out of bounds. The ball will stay with the Jackets. And gets it into Shivers. Shivers pushes it across the timeline, dribbling far side. Back up top to Thomas. Thomas out front to Van. Van resets the offense. Applin man to man gets it down in the corner. Shivers. Shivers three-pointer on the way. No good. Rebound by the Pirates pushing it up. You got Barnum on a breakaway. Dishes it near side to White. White up and in. She now has four. And the Pirates increase their lead with two minutes remaining in the half. Thomas crosses the timeline under pressure. Gets it to Poole. Poole has it knocked off her foot. Picked up down by McKenzie who drives and lays it up and in. McKenzie Makes it 30 to 10 by the Jack. 20 point lead by the Pirates. Turn around underneath by White. White bears it. She's got six. And a timeout on the floor with a minute 37 to go. Applin 32, Jeff Davis 10. 60, a 30 second timeout. This is the Jeff Davis Hospital Sports Network. Make the switch to Mitch, not only for your prescription needs, but also for your gift needs. Visit Designs and More by Brandy located inside Mitch's Pharmacy. Brandy offers all occasion flowers, silk, and fresh. Shop designs and more by Brandy for gift baskets for that special someone, shoes by Corky, and jacket t-shirts for the entire family. Located at 5 East Coffee Street in Hazelhurst, open 9 to 6 Monday through Friday and 9 to 12 on Saturday. Give them a call at 912-699-3784 and follow them on Facebook. One thirty-seven remaining in the half. Applin thirty-two. Jeff Davis ten. <laughs> D 
Destiny Ivory has four for the Jackets. Stinson, two. Poole, two. And Latrice Shivers, two. Jackets will inbound underneath the Appen basket. Shivers into Poole. Poole pushes it up the near side into traffic. Dribbles through. Drives the lane from the far side. Puts a shot up. No good. Followed up by Van underneath. Alira Van gets up to 32-12. Nice rebound and followed by Lyra Van. Jackets dribbling the far court. Barnum dishes off, pass underneath to Clemens. Clemens, wow, shot underneath. No good shot up by White, who's blocked, but a foul is going to be called, I believe, on Annalise Poole. Poole will pick up her second. 14 fouls on the Jackets in the period with a minute nine remaining in the first half. We'll be looking to talk with boys coach Will Johnson at the half. First pitch. First shot on the way is no good by Ken Kenaya White. Ready on the second. Again off the side of the rim. Shivers Gets a rebound, dribbles out, gets it to Poole. Poole under pressure. The back baseline, pushing it up court, gets it ahead. Nobody looking, and the pass is stolen by the Pirates. Trying to inbound it. They clear it. Alira Van picks it off. Jackets have numbers going the other way. Van tries to shoot it across court to beautiful Thomas, but out of bounds. The pass was too long and out of bounds, and it go back over to Appling with 49 seconds remaining in the half. 32 12, Pirates lead it by 20. Barnum drives, dishes off underneath. We'll get a foul. And Kenya, Kenaya White will go to the line. Alira Van picks up her second foul. White to shoot two. High arcing shot, hits the back iron and comes out with 40 seconds remaining in the half. Pirates lead it by 20, 32-12. White to shoot the second one. Plenty of arch on that one and it's off the side rim and Latrice Shivers controls the rebound. Dribbles into the corner. Is in trouble. Stolen away by Appling. Shot is up. No good. Chasing it down in the corner and out of bounds. Goes to the Jackets. Sheedy back in the game for Appling. Shivers inbounds to Poole. Poole back to Shivers. Stolen by Appling, but Shivers fights. He gets it back. Gets in trouble, tracks it, not bounces it off of a pirate leg and out of bounds of Jackets. Will inbound just shy of midcourt. Shot clock is off with 24 seconds remaining. Long cross court port to Van. Van up to Thomas. Thomas has it at the top of the key. Dribbles off a foot, but chased down by Shivers. Shivers looking for help. Gets it over to Van. Van. Underneath the pool, pool drives baseline, puts up a shot, but is fouled with six seconds remaining in the half. Annalise Poole will step to the foul line. Talia Hayes called for her first personal. Annalise Poole will shoot two. Nothing but net. Annalise has, has three on the game, all from the charity stripe. Thirty-two fourteen as Poole hits them both. Six seconds remaining. Applin pushing Barnum quickly up, launches a three. It's on the way, short, no good. Out of bounds with point three seconds remaining. Jackets will control the inbound. Gets it inbound to Van. Van will just. Put in the pocket and that'll take us to the half. 
We reached halftime. Your score, Appling County 32, Jeff Davis 14. Take a two-minute timeout. We'll be back with halftime show after two minutes. This is the Jeff Davis Hospital Basketball Network. Silas Worth Monument Company offers factory direct orders from Memorial Designs to remember your loved ones. They can create one-of-a-kind computer designs or traditional monuments. You can choose your remembrance in beautiful granite, marble, bronze, or cremation monuments. Call Victor Worth and his staff today at 912-375-4587 or visit their location at 353 Alma Highway in Hazelhurst. Also visit them online at silasworthmonument.com. Williams Brothers Trucking is now hiring qualified CDL Class A licensed drivers with at least two years over the road tractor trailer experience. Williams Brothers Trucking has an excellent benefits package. They have quarterly bonuses. They have great insurance. They offer flexibility as far as your work schedule. Um, you're not really pressured into starting at any certain time throughout the day. Be home every day with family owned and operated Williams Brothers Trucking. Apply now online. Go Jackets! Your eyes are your window to the world around you and good vision is important to everyone. At Southern Eye Care you can count on their expertise in treating all types of vision problems to help you see your best. From glasses to contact lenses, from surgical vision correction to treatment of eye disease and injury, their team is here to help take care of your eyes. Your vision matters at Southern Eye Care in Hazelhurst. Call them for an appointment at 912-375-2516 or visit them online at southerneyecarepc.com. There, Appling County leads at 32-14 with... Uh, here at the halftime, joining me now is boys head coach Will Johnson. Coach, thank you for coming and talking to us this afternoon. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Always. I'm going to go back to the, our last home game against Pierce County. Picked up your first win of the season. Take us through that game a little bit. It was an awesome night. Um, mm -hmm. Kids finally pulled it out at the end when they needed to. Right. Um, you know, close game. I had one of the kids tell me, you know, coach, I'd, I'd like to maybe win one by, by 20 or 25 so we don't have to do that <laughs> so much. Right. But you know, I told him I was like, it's it's a it's a process. It's good for us to be in those games, mm -hmm. and you know, with the previous four that we had, all under, you know, five, ten points at right. the end. It, I think it kind of helped us. We mm -hmm. we knew what it was like to feel that pressure, and uh, ended up ended up getting one done. I tell you, the the guys have played hard every game that I've done, uh, and it just seems those little mistakes here and there, uh, you know, add up at the end. And 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 we've been in a lot of close games. You got to win by two before you can win by twenty. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, and uh, you know, we're we're you know just starting right. to get better. You know, mm -hmm. we, we continue to get better. Um, you know, we played played Telfair last night, which you know I think is probably going to be a Final Four team in right. single A, mm -hmm. very strong team. And you know, we found ourselves down eight in the fourth. Um, you know, playing well. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, for us as young as we are, that's all we can ask for is just to keep improving, uh, and it, and it's going to have to start today with a tough Appling team. If I remember correctly in that Pierce game, Bobby Jones, a couple of big threes right down the stretch that, that kind of turned that game around. Yes, right? yes, definitely. You know, that's mm -hmm. and that's what we have to do to be successful. Right. we got to have guys make shots. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Bobby's been great, always plays hard. If we can get him to stop fouling out every game, <laughs> that'd be good. But, uh, no, uh, he's uh -huh. been, been a great player for us. Uh, he's going to have to have a big one today. Your, your freshman point guard also, is get, you, you can see him maturing almost every game, get a little bit better. Uh, feel for the game a little bit more comfortable, little, you know, getting used to the speed of the varsity level. Definitely, definitely. JJ, you know, he he's he's finding a groove. Like us. Mm -hmm. Last night he had 18 points, right. his, his highest on the year. Mm -hmm. um, turnovers are, are still an issue, but it, it always will be with a freshman point guard. Um, but but the good thing about it is he, he continues to learn, continues to progress, and, you know, he he's going to have to have a great one today as well. Always a, a big rivalry with Athlon and Jeff Davis just being so close together. You don't see them on the football field, but but here you got them uh, in a basketball non-region game. I know Coach Glass has them in, in baseball and Coach Wilcox in softball. Uh, have you gotten a feel for the w how intense this rivalry is between these two schools? Not yet, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to find out here in about <laughs> 45 minutes or right. so. Um, you know, mm -hmm. everybody's been talking about the Appling game this right. week. Uh, you know, we didn't want to overlook Telfair, and, mm -hmm. I, and I was pleased with how we played. Right. Um, so, you know, today is finally here. Um, we're going we're gonna to see what we're about for sure. Well, Coach, uh, good luck to you tonight. Let's right. go get a big win. Yes, sir. Go Jackets. Thank you. Go Jackets. Coach Will Johnson, Jeff Davis boys basketball coach.
here with us here at the half as the Lady Jackets trail Appling County 32-14. We're going to take a two-minute timeout, get some words from our sponsors. We'll be back with more on the Jeff Davis Hospital Sports Network. Make tailgating easy and delicious with help from Three Rivers Meat Company in Hazelhurst. Three Rivers Meat Company offers specialty cuts of beef, pork, chicken, and seafood. They also have several types of the in-house made fresh sausage. If you need a grill, they're an exclusive dealer for Traeger Grills in Hazelhurst. To place your order in advance, call 912-551-9621 or visit their beautiful meat counter at 90 West Coffee Street. Go Jackets from Derek Wooten and the Meat Professionals at Three Rivers Meat Company in Hazelhurst. At Altima Hall Bank & Trust, we strive to help you live your best life. That means offering loans for nearly any dream or goal. With competitive rates, local processing, and quick decisions, we can customize a loan to fit your needs. This is Misty Boatwright, Relationship Manager at the Hazelhurst Branch. Come see me today at 57 North Tallahassee Street or visit our website at altimahall.bank. And let's work together to achieve your financial goals. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. The Bank of Hazelhurst is Jeff Davis County's only locally owned and operated bank, serving their friends and family since 1906. They offer a wide array of services, including personal, commercial, and electronic banking services, along with mortgage and ag lending. For more information on the services they offer, call them at 912-375-4228. Download their banking app or contact them online at bankofhazelhurst.com. The Bank of Hazelhurst. When others have their branches, they have their roots. Since their founding in 1968, the Beasley Group has become a vertically integrated leader in the forest products industry, and this growth has made them the largest hardwood sawmill in the United States and North America's foremost producer of crane mats and timbers for the energy transmission, utility, and construction industries. The Beasley Group is proud to be members of the Hazelhurst and Jeff Davis County community. They are also proud supporters of all Jeff Davis High School sports. Go Jackets! from the Beasley Group. Back here at Jeff Davis High School gym as we're at the half of the girls game, the Appling County Lady Pirates 32, Jeff Davis Lady Jackets 14, as we'll get set here to go in the second half. But once again, uh, big congratulations. Shout out to our 8U boys football team as they won state championship earlier today up in Carrollton. The 10 new boys are playing in Carrollton this afternoon for a, another state championship. Our 14, our, excuse me, our 12 u team won the state championship in GRPA here last week here in Hazelhurst. So the Jackets going for the sweep for 8 u 10 u 12 u in football. And boy, that's a, a big boost. And the future of our Yellow Jacket football program out there playing here in winning big time championship. Let's wish those boys well. If anybody gets an update on that 10 u game, let me know. And we'll pass that along to everyone along the way. Sure proud of our young guys and the great job. Recreation Director Josh Horton and all his coaches and volunteers and everyone else involved in our recreation program. The great job they've done this fall with, with the rec football. Getting ready to start the second half. Possession arrow is pointing towards the Pirates, so they will inbound at midcourt. We've got Alira Van, Claire Stinson, Destiny Ivory, Annalise Poole, and Latrice Shivers, the five on the floor for Jeff Davis. Again, couple of starters missing. Jenna Miles and Kelsey Parler. Parler at the Georgia Dugout Club event this weekend as she received her Class AA Softball Player of the Year. Congratulations to Kelsey. Happening inbounds. Barnum on the dribble at the top of the key. Gets it inside. Quiet on the jumper from the far side and rebound by Ivory. And Ivory shuffles her feet and turns it right back over to the Pirates. Head coach Stephen Wilcox winning the AA Coach of the Year. Assistant coach Kayla Brown getting Assistant Coach of the Year. Ball's inbounded and put in by McKenzie on the far side. As 
She now has four points, and the Appling Pirates extend their lead. Van, check that. That's Shante Lewis pushing it up floor quickly. Cross court pass. Ivory controls it. Goes up to the top of the key. Shivers a three pointer on the way off the back of the iron. No good. Rebound Pirates. Pushing it the other way is McKenzie. McKenzie passes underneath to White. White up and in for two points. She now has eight. 36 14. Jackets go the other way with Stinson. Stinson off the iron. No good. F underneath followed by Annalise Poole. No good. And Appling County controls the rebound and now they push it back the other way. Up ahead to White. White turns around. Beautiful uh, Shante Lewis blocked away but White gathers it, puts it back in and she now has 10 points. Two more for the Poole. It gets a long pass up at midcourt. Gets it underneath to Stinson. Stinson back to Poole. Poole jumper from the right side. No good. Underneath to the Pirates. And they will control it as it's out of bounds. 6.32 remaining in the third period. For the boys. I'm out on the floor. Thirty-eight, fourteen, Appen County with the lead, and they will inbound in the backcourt. Six thirty-two remaining in the third period. Pirates push the ball up. McKenzie off to Barnum. Barnum drives the lane from the left side and out of bounds goes to the Jackets. A lot of contact underneath, but no call. Shante Lewis will trigger it in on the baseline. Appen continues to press full court. Jackets get it into Lewis. Lewis up to Ivory. Ivory loses it off her foot. Picked up by White. Misses the rebound. Lewis clears it out and pushes it up the floor quickly. Lewis takes it into the corner. Gets it out to Poole. Poole, 18 footer, good. Annalise Poole now with six in the game. 38-16. Happen leads by 22, working the ball around the perimeter. Barnum drives in from the top of the key, banks it off the glass. Check that. That was Kenyana White, who now has seven, and the Jackets will rebound inbound underneath. Ball tip, but controlled by Ivory. Ivory had to pull Pool on the drive, but she traveled. Couldn't get the pass away before she shuffled her feet. 534 remaining. 40 to 16. Appling County with the big lead. McKenzie on the point. Dribbles at the top of the key. Drives from the lane into the lane. And we're going to get a whistle. And we get Shivers on the push. She now has three in the game. Happened inbound far side. McKenzie against Shiver. Shiver guarding tight, driving, circling the lane. Has a travel. Took, took one too many steps. And Jackets will inbound. 520. In the third quarter. Gets it ahead to Lewis. Lewis on the dribble. All the way up the sideline, but she'll step on the out of bounds line and turn the ball back over to Appling County. Appling to inbound. McKenzie on the dribble up top. Guarded by Shiver. Shiver. McKenzie on the drive. Barnum. Barnum backs it out. Gives it this side to Hayes. Hayes. Cross court pass. Picks it up by White underneath, three-footer, rolls it in. Kira White now with 12. 42-16 as the Jackets push the ball at court. Long pass, controlled by Shivers. Shivers 
shot is uh, hits the bottom of the backboard, but I believe we're going to get a foul called on the Pirates. And I believe that's going to be Kenyatta White. And she has three. That is her first in the game. It's going to put Shivers on the line. 447 remaining in the third period. No good on the first shot. Patrice to try the second. High off the back iron, no good. Rebound by Appling, pushing it up court. Has White up top. She's fouled as she goes down hard, out of bounds. They had her on a breakaway, but the pass was a little bit long, but the Jacket bail her out by fouling. Shante Lewis picks up her fourth. Right here in the third quarter, a couple of Jackets over there ready to check in. That's Kenaya White. Step to the line, 42-16, the lead by the Pirates. Too hard off the back. Thomas and Dan check in for Lewis and Shivers. Like to shoot the second. High shot rattles it in. That gives her eight on the night. Jackets inbound underneath. Destiny Ivory gets it back across to Thomas. Thomas on the dribble far side. She's going to be get a reach in foul over there. Forty-three sixteen. Happening with the lead as Kenyatta White picks up her second foul. Jackets inbound. Destiny Ivory high off the glass is good. Ivory with six in the game as Applin pushes it up court. Barnum has it on the near side. Reverses the dribble, drives the lane. Shot is up, no good. Picked up off the floor by Poole. Poole pushes it. Two on two break for the Jackets. Of course, Croke pass to Thomas. Thomas can't handle it. It goes out of bounds. And they're going to give it, I believe, to Applin. All right, it's inbound as the Jackets show pressure full court. McKenzie gets it, pushes up court. Poole knocks it away, and the Pirates will inbound underneath their own basket. 4.06 in the third period. 43-18, Pirates with the lead. Shot to the near side, no good. Out of bounds, off Appling, and we'll go over to Jeff Davis. 15 point lead. Check that 25 point lead for the Pirates. Van has it knocked away by White. White back underneath to McKenzie. McKenzie rattles it home. Ball inbound. Stolen by White. And a foul. And Kira White will go to the line to shoot a couple. 348. As Destiny Ivory picks up her fourth foul. Jackets, Ivory and Shante Lewis both with four now. First shot is up and in. On the leg, that's good. 47-18. Pirates with the lead. Ball inbound long pass to Stinson right through her hands and Applin picks up the loose ball. Quickly coming the other way. McKenzie on the dribble far side. Works it down the baseline, and she's going to be fouled by beautiful Thomas. 3.39 in the third quarter. Appen will then bound underneath. Thomas picks up her third foul. Kalia Hayes to trigger it in. Up high to White. White dribbles out from underneath, gets it off to McKenzie. McKenzie 
dribbling on the far side, circles back up top, reverses the dribble, comes near side, gets it off to high off the glass, no good. Annalise Poole with the rebound, gets it across to Destiny Ivory. Ivory pushes it right up the middle of the floor through traffic. Eight footer off the glass and good. Destiny Ivory now has eight points in the game. 47-20 near court. Erica Clemens with a three-pointer swish. Fifty, twenty, thirty-point lead now by the Pirates. Long pass from the Jackets. Nobody there, and picked up by the Pirates. McKenzie from the top of the key off the back iron, no good. Stinson with the rebound, gets it to Poo. Poo pushing the ball to the near side. Ball foul right at mid court. Fourteen fouls now on the Pirates. As Erica Clemens picks up her first foul, Jackets will inbound at the midcourt line. 50 20, Happling with the lead. Annalise Poole to get it in. Gets it into Lewis. Lewis back to Poole. Poole drives near side, pulls up. Shot block. Gets it right back. Fires another shot, and this time it's foul. Hayes blocked the first one, but got it on the arm the second time. And that'll send Annalise to the line to shoot a pair. Hayes with her second foul. Poo, first shot, rolls off the iron. Happened up by 30, with 2.33 remaining in the third period. A couple of changes on the way for the Pirates. 2.33 in the third. Happened with the big lead, Poo. Eyes her second shot, nails that one. And Lee's Poole now with seven. Happened inbound to McKenzie. McKenzie pushes the ball up quickly underneath. Shot by Clemens is good and she's fouled. Hooping the harm. Makes it 52-21 as Clemens will step to the line to try to complete the three-point play. Saw her open underneath, long pass right on target by McKenzie. And Clemens just caught it, turned around, and banked it off the glass. And picked up the foul from Annalise Poo, who now has three. Clemens shot on the way, off the back iron, and Gets a good bouncing in. Nine points for White. At least Poole dribbles it right down the lane. Tries to dish it off to Stinson, but kicked away and out of bounds by the Pirates. Jackets will inbound on the baseline. Beautiful Thomas to trigger it in. It's underneath the van, but has it stolen away. Thomas on the floor, and will get a hell ball in the Possession arrow goes towards the Jackets. They'll stay right on the baseline. 209 remaining in the third. Thomas trying to get it in, gets it into Van. Van then trapped in the corner, dribbles out to Thomas. Thomas pulls it out. Underneath the pool, pool circles the lane. Shot is up off the side iron, no good. And a foul. Whistle said, nope, it was out of bounds. We'll stay with the Jackets. Poole trying to inbound it underneath. Tries to get it into Van, but it's kicked away by Applin. Three on the shot clock for the Jackets. I haven't had to worry about the shot clock much. I've got to get off a quick shot. Poole trying to work loose underneath. Get it in on the floor. Ball's tied up, and this time the possession arrow will go towards the Pirates. 154 remaining. In the third period, happened 53, Jeff Davis 21. McKenzie long pass down to the far corner. Near side, three pointer on the way is way short by Cheedy, but rebound and put back underneath by 
Solomon. 55 to 21. Shivers picks up a dribble now, gets it off to Van. Van trying to work the far side, dribbles it out of bounds and turnover. Check that, they're gonna call a blocking foul on Shivers. She now has four in the game. So Jackets now with three players with four fouls. Get a stoppage of play. And that foul should have been a a little confusion here as the scorekeeper sitting one and one, but they've only got five team fouls on the board. So the just a mistake there. That'll happen with them bound at midcourt. 121 remaining in the third. 55 21 happened inbounds. McKenzie in, steps inside the three point line, puts it up, no good. Fight for the rebound underneath. McKenzie gets the tap back in and puts it in. Eight points for McKenzie. 57 21. Happen pushes the lead to 36. Van on the Dribble gets it near side. Three pointer from the corner, no good. Rebound by the Pirates. And here comes McKenzie the other way up quote, quickly to Clemens. Clemens on the drive too hard off the glass. Rebound by Cheedy. Cheedy, no good. Stinson with the rebound and clears it out to Shivers. Shivers in trouble on the far side. Tries to bounce it off the Pirate, but controlled by Appling, driving the lane and putting it up is Kenaya White. She has 11 in the game, 59-21. Under 30 to play, shot clock off as Alira Van walks it slowly up the court. Winding down here in the third. Over and back call as Van lost the dribble. 14 seconds left for the Pirates here in the third period. They'll inbound at midcourt. McKenzie on the dribble, gets it down in the corner. Pass inside, fought for and pulled out there. McKenzie has Clemens on the far side, shot is off the iron, no good. Clemens saves it, pushes it back out, but that's going to be the end of the third period. Just score after three. Appling County 59, Jeff Davis 21. Let's take a 60-second timeout on the Jeff Davis Hospital Sports Network. Sixty-second timeout here on the Jeff Davis Hospital Basketball Network. CNH Creative Flooring can make your floors beautiful. They are this area's foremost experts when it comes to concrete grinding, polishing, crack repair, and epoxy coatings. They offer hundreds of color epoxy flake systems to choose from, custom metallics, neat coats, inlaid emblems, and much more. Whether it's your home, garage, man cave, pool deck, sidewalks, porches, or carport, let us help you make it gorgeous, safe, colorful, and skid resistant. Call Daryl Hutto at 912-381-9037 or Cody Carter at 912-592-5493 or message them on Facebook. EP American Footwear in Hazelhurst is proud to be a part of the Hazelhurst Jeff Davis community and are proud sponsors of all Jeff Davis County sports. If you're looking for a great job with a great company, they are hiring for all shifts. You can apply in person Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 at 10 North Hill Street in Hazelhurst. Go Jackets from all the folks at EP American Footwear of Hazelhurst. Go Jackets! Jackets inbound here to start the fourth. Applin with a 59-21 lead. Shante Lewis circles around, drives the lane from the far side. Shot is off the glass too hard, and Applin on the rebound, pushes it up court, and we get a whistle. And the Pirates coach at midcourt. I'm not sure what that's all about. And he's going to call a timeout. 30 second timeout here, so we'll stick it right here. Pirates lead it 60 
to check that 59 to 21. We're just underway here in the third period. We got a timeout here. As we're just on the way here in the fourth. It's been Appling County all the way here in this one. Appen with the ball. Long three-pointer from the corner. Good. Kenaya White with the long three. She's got 14 in the game. 61-21. Jackets. Shante Lewis driving. And I'm going to call the offense foul. And that's going to be all for Lewis. And she is fouled out with 529 remaining in the game. Poole, Thomas, Van, Ivory, and Stinson, the five on the floor for the Jackets. Again from the corner, three-pointer by White, no good, and a rebound and a hell ball, and the arrow stays with the Pirates. 61-21, Pirates now lead it by 40. Dish underneath, knocked away by Lewis, by the Ivory, Ivory, Shot by off the glass, beautiful Thomas on the breakaway, driving the lane from behind, knocked out of bounds. Good hustle there. By Fantasia Chidi to get back and knock that ball away. Jackets inbound, Poole has it. 15 footer shot from the side of the foul line is no good, but a foul. It was hit from behind, 5.02 remaining, and Poole will step to the line. She leads the Jackets with seven points tonight. Clemens picks up her second foul for the Pirates. Poole, a little too hard off the back iron. Annalise with the second one, nails that one. Eight points now for Annalise. Five minutes remaining in the game. Long pass into the corner by the Jackets. Driving around, it's White and bangs it off the glass. Kanaya White now with 16. 63-22. Happening with the lead, the Van gets it into Ivory. Ivory, the foul line drives underneath, turns around, puts it off the side of the rim and out of bounds and will go to the Pirates. 4.35 remains. McKenzie pushes the ball up the court, gets it down in the corner. White drives from the far side, high off the glass, no good. Van with the rebound, gets it off to Van, Van to Poole. Poole pushes it up the far side as Athens drops back in defense. Runner by Annalise, no good, gets her own rebound. Knocked away, picked up by Destiny Ivory, no good. This Stinson on the rebound, gets it to Van. Van, a three-pointer, no good. And out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Yellow Jackets, 20 on the shot clock. Pool to inbound. Jackets run the inbound play, looking to get it in. Can't get it in, and Going to get the five-second call before she can call timeout. 4.04 remaining, and the turnover gives the ball to the Pirates, who lead it by 41. Again, go deep in the corner for White. Kanaya White comes up short, rebound, and put back by Cheedy. 65-22. Jackets walk the ball up the floor, 3.45. Remains in the ball game. 
Destiny Ivory drives from the foul line, puts it up with the right hand on the left side, no good. McKenzie clears it out of there, runs the floor, gets it across to Cheaty. Cheaty up and no good. Rebound underneath by Apple, no good. Foul on the rebound. And they're going to get Cheaty with the foul. It's her first. 65-22. Jackets inbound as the, back, as the Pirates drop back into a half-court defense. Poole on the drive in the lane. Turns around. Has the ball taken away by McKenzie. McKenzie gets it out quick to Kenia White. White on the drive. Lays it up and in. Kenia White now with 18. Annalise drives. Cross-court pass stolen by the Pirates. Three minutes to play. Cheedy has it up top, drives from the right side, lays it up and in, no good. Up and in on the follow-up by Erica Clemens. She has 10. And Jeff Davis pushes the ball up floor. 67-22. Van dribbles far side, circles around to the lane, shot is blocked. Out of bounds, will stay with Jeff Davis. And wholesale changes now for the Pirates. Poole sets down as Chivers back in the game for Jeff Davis. Van will trigger it in from underneath the basket. 233 remains. Get it into Ivory. Ivory out to Chivers. Chivers. Jumper from the foul line, no good. Rebound by pa Applin. Applin gets it up full, stolen by Shivers. Shivers on the drive from the left side. Puts the jumper up off the glass and good. The three Shivers now with four points in the game. 69-24. Sheedy from the far side is blocked and foul by Shivers, and that's going to be all for her tonight. That's five on Shivers. Shante Lewis has already fouled out. And Annalise Poole's going to have to come in back in. And she looked like she was really gassed over there on the bench. 2.06 remaining. Cheedy will be at the line to shoot a couple. High shot comes up short. Missed the front iron. Steps back to the line. Second shot on the way. That one's no good, and she's going to get a third. Two oh six remaining in the ball game. Fantasia Cheedy off the front iron. No good. Ball loose on the floor. Picked up by Van. Van crosses the timeline, passes it to Poole. Poole is almost intercepted. Poole picks up the loose ball, drives far side, going to get fouled on the way to the basket, and she will step to the foul line with a minute 54 remaining. And at least Poole with eight. Pirates up big. Closing a couple of minutes of the game. That was off the front iron. 154 remaining. At least makes an excellent. She's got nine now in the game. Under two to play. Cheedy drives from the far side, ball on the floor. White picks it up and puts it in. Kira White 
now has 14. Jackets inbound. To Van, Van walking it up the floor slowly. Pirates right, back off into a half court defense. Beautiful Thomas on the far side. Thomas inside, knocked away by the Pirates, but picked up. Loose ball by Van, ball on the floor, goes over to Appling. With a minute 21 remaining. Maya Barnum gets it down low. Inside pass, shot up off the front iron, rebound by Destiny Ivory. Kicks it off to Thomas. Thomas to Van, Van up top, back to Thomas on the far side. Thomas has the ball knocked away, out of bounds, will stay with the Jackets with 56 seconds to play. Happened 71, Jeff Davis 25. Ball knocked out of bounds by the Pirates. Jackets will inbound again. Gets it into Destiny Ivory. Ivory starts to drive and goes down. Slowly gets back to her feet and comes up with a little bit of limp, but she's going to go to the foul line. No, nope, they're going to say the ball goes out of bounds. A non-shooting foul. Stolen, the inbound pass stolen by Appen. On the drive, up ahead, about four steps, but they don't call it. She lays it up and in. Forty to play. Thomas. With the ball near side on the dribble down to the baseline. Pulls it back out, tries to get it off. Ball's out of bound and will go to Appling with 29 seconds remaining. 73-25 is our score. Pirates on a what runaway here. Passes too long and over Cheaty's head and out of bounds will go to the Jackets. 24 seconds remaining. Thomas on the dribble. Happen picks up at half court. Long pass. Saved from out of bounds by the Pirates. Going to get the ball up top, but intercepted by Van. Van turns it the other way. Tries to hit Poole down low, but too tall. And Applin will get the ball with three seconds remaining. Barnum finally picks it up. Across the timeline, long three-pointer on the way, no good. Your final score, Applin, 73, Jeff Davis, 25. That's your final here from the Jackets Nest. We're going to take a, get two minutes here from words from our sponsors. We'll be, take a break here at the halftime. We'll be back with the Jacket Boys against the Applin County Boys after this break here between games. Experience a better way to bank at Interstate Credit Union in Hazelhurst, where they offer a wide variety of loans. Interstate Credit Union is second to none when it comes to low rates and great customer service, specializing in personal loans, new home and construction loans, and automobile loans, as well as many other types. Their broad services include personal checking, savings, business, in-person, online, and mobile banking, and much, much more. Visit them at 14 Henson Street, or call 912-375-0640, or you can contact them online at interstatecu.org. At Jeff Davis Hospital in Hazelhurst, we are committed to building a healthy community. We use the latest technology, and our knowledgeable team members provide exceptional, state-of-the-art care to our local community and surrounding areas. We provide a respectful understanding of care for our patients and their loved ones. For more information about Jeff Davis Hospital and the services we provide, Call 912-375-7781 or visit us online at jeffdavishospital.org. Dr. Kirkman Syak and his health care professionals at the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic care about their patients. The Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic offers prompt health care for acute sicknesses and treatments for a wide range of non-emergency illnesses and injuries. To make an appointment, call 912-375-4884 
or visit them at 22 Cross Street in Hazelhurst. Go Jackets and God bless from Dr. Kirk Munsiak and his team at the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic. Need salvage parts for your new or late model car or truck? Then you should call McCarty Auto Parts where parts arrive daily, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, at their location at 118 Automaha Road in Hazelhurst. Check out their inventory online 24-7 at McCartyAuto.com. If they don't have the parts you need, they'll find it. Call McCarty Auto Parts in Hazelhurst for all your salvage part needs.
Just about ready to get underway here with the boys' action. The Jackets coming in at 1-6 overall. The Appling County Pirates 0-1. They're only lost to Wayne County. Lamonte, I checked that Latrell Sellers will jump it up. Also got Bobby Jones, J.J. Benjamin. Malachi Smith and Lamonte Deeds on the floor for the Jackets. Tip controlled by the Pirates. Howell has it, gets it down the foul line. Turnaround jumper by Mitchell, no good. Back out by the Pirates. They control the board. Three pointer on the way by Nance, no good, and recalled by the Jackets, LJ Nance. Bobby Jones up top gets it back to Benjamin. Benjamin. On the three-pointer from the far side, and that's good. J.J. Benjamin with the big three. Three-nothing Jackets. Mitchell on the dribble up top. Working far side. Ball on the floor. Picked up by the big guy. Shot up. No good. Rebound underneath. Cleared out of there by Bobby Jones. Benjamin gets it ahead to Malachi. Malachi back to J.J. J.J. to Bobby Jones on the far side. Got underneath to the trail. The trail kicks it back out. 19 on the shot clock. As Benjamin resets the offense. Jackets up 3-0. Gets to Jones on the far side. Up top to Deeds. Deeds to J.J. Three-pointer from the near side. No good. And Applin on the run. Pushing it back against numbers. Got a Contact on the floor and a whistle. Let's see what we got here. We'll get a blocking foul against the Jackets, and that's going to send NJ Nance to the line. The Trail Sellers picks up the foul. We've got an NJ Nance and an LJ Nance. This is NJ. Misses the first. Just underway. First period of play. The second one rolls around and in for NJ. 3-1, now part to the lead. Sellers cross court to Jones. Jones drives, dishes off down low. Back up top to JJ. Check that, that's Malachi with it. Malachi gets it down low. Pass tried to go inside a little trail, knocked away by the Pirates. They got a man breaking away. Blocked from behind by the Jackets, and they're going to send it back the other way. Good hustle down the floor by Malachi. On the run is Lamonte Deeds, who picks up two. The Jackets up 5 nothing early. And a trap. Pirates get it out. Takes about a three-pointer. Cross court pass long. Driving in, eight-foot shot is good by Hickok. Five to three, almost stolen by the Pirates. And Benjamin gets it ahead again, stolen, drive, dishes off under to Latrell. Latrell lays it up and in. Good control of the basketball. Way to be unselfish and work, the, work it around. Jackets up, seven to three, underneath. Shot too hard over the basket and loose ball is picked up by the Jackets and here they come the other way. 7-3, four point lead by Jeff Davis in the trap at mid court. Ball knocked away underneath, ball knocked out of bounds. It's gonna go to the Pirates. Ball was off of JJ. And we're gonna get a quick timeout on the floor. It's Let's take 30 seconds with them here on the Jeff Davis Hospital Sports Network. Make the switch to Mitch for all your over-the-counter and prescription medicine needs. Take advantage of their drive-up window, curbside, and delivery services. The health of you and your family is their priority. Make the switch to Mitch, located at 5 East Coffee Street in Hazelhurst, Monday through Friday from 9 to 6 and 9 to noon on Saturday. Give them a call at 912-699-3784 and make sure to follow them on Facebook. Got a 
by 15 remaining in the first period. Jackets up seven to three. Appling County will inbound it in the backcourt. Darius Howell running the point for the Pirates. Jackets a trapping defense up top, gets it down low, cutting underneath, reverse layup up and in by Hickok. He's got all four Appling points now. Jackets get the ball up the floor. Gets it off to JJ, a drive, high off the iron, no good. Ball loose on the floor, picked up by the Pirates, and they got a breakaway. Lays it up and in is Kevin Mitchell. Jackets quickly down floor, intercepted by the Pirates. We're tied at seven. Happened trying to break away, but he dribbled it off his foot. NJ on the break and just dribbled it right off his foot. NJ Nance. And the turnover will send it back to the Jackets. Benjamin gets the ball up to Malico, who's trapped in the backcourt. Gets a pass ahead. Jones, Lamonte Deeds on the drive, easy off the glass. He's got Deeds now has four, and Jackets regain the lead by two. Pirates bring it the other way. Howell has it up top, circles the lane. Now in trouble, dishes it back out. Three-pointer from the top of the key, no good. Black happening with the rebound underneath. Foul on the shot by Kevin Mitchell, and he'll step to the line and shoot a couple. As Latrell Sellers has two quick fouls, he's going to have to have to take a seat here. 401 in the first. Mitchell rolls one in. Nine to eight. Happen to tie it up if he can make the other free one. He does. Mitchell with four and the we're all tied up at nine apiece. Jackets work the ball up court quickly. Almost stolen by the Pirates, but Jackets regain control. Driving lane, dishing down low. Up top to Benjamin. Benjamin's going to back it out. Long pass, almost out of bounds, but saved by Malachi Smith. He's drive. Check that Bobby Jones saved it from out of bounds. A drive to the hoop and a foul against the Pirates. Jeff Davis will go to the line, tie game here with 338. First shot, rattles around and falls in. Second one on the way and that one's good. Malachi Smith hits them both. Jackets up by two. And ball out of bound on the far side will stay with Applin. 3.33 remaining in the first period of play. Officials make on the Applin players take off something. So Howell has the dribble up top. Give and go underneath, drive to the lane, no good, blocked by the Jackets. And gonna get step on the line by Mitchell. And Jeff Davis will inbound underneath their own basket as Haplin County backs up and pick up the defense at half court. Benjamin ahead to Malachi. Malachi back across court. Check that Bobby Jones. Bobby Jones picks up the dribble, gets it to JJ. Bobby and JJ in a two-man game gets it down to Lamonte. Lamonte back up top to Malachi. Malachi kicks it back around, comes to the near side to Bobby Jones. Jones drives the lane, a lot of contact, but no call. And here goes Applin the other way. Got a man on the break down far side. High off the glass, no good. Rebound is out of bounds and will stay with Appling, I believe. 
Hamden Hickok on the break and just too hard off the glass. So Dapplin will inbound on the baseline. Hit the ball in, three-pointer, long shot on the way, in and out, no good, and Jeff Davis controls the back the rebound. Here comes the Jackets quickly up the floor. Malachi Smith driving and tail, hooping some harm, and he'll go to the line. Malachi Smith with the drive. Oh, they're gonna char call it a charge and take it off the board. Malachi Smith picks up his first foul. 11 to nine, Jackets up by two. And we're gonna get a blocking foul. Boy, Malachi can't get a break. Got called on the charge and now picks up one on the blocking foul. So he's got two quick fouls there. He's gonna have to take a seat. Jackets go man to man, driving the lane. Floater, no good, rebound by Jones. Jones takes it the other way, pushes up to Jackets. Up. Stolen by Applin, but a collision on the floor. Bobby Jones, slow to get up, but does get up, and he's going to be called for his second foul. Jackets in foul trouble, six already here in the first with 2.17 remaining. And Applin's in the bonus. DJ Solomon at the line. No good in and out, and the Jackets control the board. And Benjamin will walk the ball up. Ball stolen by Applin on the pass, gets it down low, drive underneath, loses it out of bounds, will stay with the Pirates as the Jackets got a hand in there on defense, knock it away. Leighton Barnador checks into the game for the Jackets. Applin inbounds, ball loose on the floor, still loose, Applin controls it, picks it up. As LJ gets it, drives the lane, no good, block, but it gets his own rebound. That was NJ that got the rebound and put it back. 11 all, and we get a foul. Malachi Smith went down hard. DJ Solomon picked up the foul and bounced to Malachi. Malachi comes near side to Benjamin. Benjamin dribbles in, cross court pass underneath to Jones. Jones goes up and a whistle. And let's see if we get a hoop and some harm this time. 11 all is our score. Waiting on the call. Basket is good. And Bobby Jones will step to the line to shoot a couple. NJ Nance picked up his first foul. Jones, check that, that was Jaquan Adams who made the three point play. Stolen by Jeff Davis. Amante Deeds picks it up, gets it off to JJ. Benjamin on the drive down the lane, coast to coast, lays it up and in. JJ Benjamin with five points in the game. Stolen again by the Jackets. Going back the other way, quickly pulls it out. Benjamin in the lane, up off, no good off the rim and rebound by Appling. Jackets up 16 to 11. One minute to play in the period. Drive from the lane on the left side. High off the glass, but a whistle on foul underneath. And Appling will step to the line to shoot two. LJ Nance will take the shot as Lamonte Deeds picks up his first foul. Buries the first one. Jacket leads cut to four. LJ 
Yeah, LJ for the second. That one comes up short. And the Jackets clear the rebound. We get a whistle. And a foul in the back over by the Pirates and goes to the Jackets. J.J. Benjamin walks the ball up the floor. Comes near side Malachi. Smith inside to Deeds. Deeds has it tied up. Held ball. Possession error favors the Jackets. So the Jackets will inbound on the baseline. Adams will trigger it in. Adam gets it in far side. Up top to Varnador. Varnador brings it up top to Benjamin. Benjamin resets 2-1-2 two, two, two zone by the Pirates. Driving in the lane. This is off to Deeds. Deeds puts it up. No good. Rebound by the Pirates. And quickly, Nance, LJ Nance, taking it the other way on a hurry. Three-pointer launch from the far side. No good. Jackets tried to run down the long rebound, but it's out of bounds. will stay with the Pirates with them. 19 seconds remaining. Jackets up 16-12. Long three-pointer on the way. No good. Applin gets the long rebound. They reset it. Send it back out. Dribble drive. Pulls it back out. 10 seconds to shoot. LJ circles the lane. Drives from inside. Scoops it up. The ball goes up and over the backboard. Out of bounds with four seconds remaining. And the Jackets will inbound in the backcourt. Benjamin picks it up at the line, comes to the near side. Malachi, long three-pointer, no good. And there we are at the end of the first. Jeff Davis 16, Applin County 12, 60-second timeout on the Jeff Davis Hospital Sports Network. Make the switch to Mitch, not only for your prescription needs, but also for your gift needs. Visit Designs and More by Brandy, located inside Mitch's Pharmacy. Brandy offers all occasion flowers, silk, and fresh. Shop designs and more by Brandy for gift baskets for that special someone. Shoes by Corky and jacket t-shirts for the entire family. Located at 5 East Coffee Street in Hazelhurst. Open 9 to 6 Monday through Friday and 9 to 12 on Saturday. Give them a call at 912-699-3784 and follow them on Facebook. Silas Worth Monument Company offers factory direct orders from Memorial Designs to remember your loved ones. They can create one-of-a-kind computer designs or traditional monuments. You can choose your remembrance in beautiful granite, marble, bronze, or cremation monuments. Call Victor Worth and his staff today at 912-375-4587 or visit their location at 353 Alma Highway in Hazelhurst. Also visit them online at silasworthmonument.com. Williams Brothers Trucking is now hiring qualified CDL Class A licensed drivers with at least two years over-the-road tractor-trailer experience. Williams Brothers Trucking has an excellent benefits package. They have quarterly bonuses. They have great insurance. They offer flexibility as far as your work schedule. Um, you're not really pressured into starting at any certain time throughout the day. Be home every day with family-owned and operated Williams Brothers Trucking. Apply now online. Go Jackets!
Appen as it works down low. Big guy underneath turns around, no good. Shot on the rebound on the floor, picked up by the Jackets. They come the other way. 19 12, Jackets lead by seven. Benjamin and Malachi work the ball at the top of the key. Pirates pack up in a zone over to Barnador and he loses it out of bounds. 6.25 left in the first. Jackets up 19-12. Happen County then bound on the back court. Jackets look like they're gonna set up for the 2-3 zone. Kind of matching up, get the ball inside, kick it out on the far side, drive the lane. Up high, no good. Rebound by the Pirates, and he goes down, and that's going to be a travel. Turnover gives the ball back to Jeff Davis with 6-10 remaining in the first half. And Applin County coach is going to call a 30-second timeout. Let's take 30 seconds with them on the Jeff Davis Hospital Sports Network. Your eyes are your window to the world around you, and good vision is important to everyone. At Southern Eye Care, you can count on their expertise in treating all types of vision problems to help you see your best. From glasses to contact lenses, from surgical vision correction to treatment of eye disease and injury, their team is here to help take care of your eyes. Your vision matters at Southern Eye Care in Hazelhurst. Call them for an appointment at 912-375-2516 or visit them online at southerneyecarepc.com. Six ten remains in the first half. Jackets up by seven, 19-12. And will inbound the ball in the backcourt. Benjamin at the point will bring the ball up the floor. Jackets goes over to Varnador. Varnador will back up top. Inside to Malachi. Malachi and JJ work, the, work it around. Come back to Malachi inside the Deeds. Deeds in traffic, puts muscles his way up and in. Good job by Lamonte Deeds, who just muscled that one up there. Jackets extend the lead to nine, 21 12. Happen on the attack. Howell goes inside through the legs and picked up by the Jackets. Here they come the other way. Happen back in his own defense. Barnador looks at the near side, goes inside to Deeds again. This time comes out. Malachi feeds it to JJ, tries to drive, but loses the handle and out of bounds and turns it over to the Pirates for 5-18 remaining in the first half of play. Jackets 21, Pirates 12. Whistle. Oh, underneath, and let's see the call here. Call is on Leighton Barnador. His first foul. So Appen will inbound in the backcourt. Cross court pass, turn around jumper from 12, no good. Jackets clear the boards. Jackets been really working the defensive boards hard tonight. Malachi Smith works, I mean, JJ Benjamin works it up court, gets it across court to Malachi. Malachi back. Benjamin loses the handle, gets it to. Malico drives baseline, runner from the far side, no good. Rebound underneath by Deeds, up and in. Big job by Lamonte Deeds, he's got eight. Jackets extend the lead, 23-12. Applin quickly the other way, short runner is no good. And out of bounds. And see if that goes to the Jackets. Jackets work near side. Varnador back to Benjamin. Benjamin back to Varnador. Three-point attempt. Good! Leighton Varnador buries his second three. He's got six in the game. The Jackets push the lead up. And a 
traveled on the other end, and the Jackets will get the ball back. 26-12, Jackets up by 14. Jackets work it inside, give it back to Deeds. Check that to Bobby Jones underneath, no good. Back out top to J Benjamin. Benjamin in with a three from the top of the key, off the glass, no good. Hustle underneath and out of bounds as Jaquan Adams couldn't control it. 342 remaining in the opening period. Jeff Davis up by 14. Tapia brings the ball up court for the Pirates. On the dribble up top, knocked away and out of bounds by J.J. Benjamin. Jackets playing that 2-3 zone. Bonnerdor picks up the dribble up high. Three-point attempt on the way, no good. Rebound underneath by Benjamin, but a tie, ball's tied up, and the possession error goes to Jeff Davis. Almost stolen by the Jackets, but Malachi Smith has, tries to get Barnardo a little too strong. Loose ball picked up by the Pirates. Copy on the attack for the Pirates. Trap up top. Comes near side, driving the lane. Runner underneath off the glass and good by Jalen Williams. His first two of the game. 2.54 remaining. 26-12. Malachi Smith on the drive, tries to go cross court, but tipped out of bounds and will stay with the Jackets. 26-14, Jackets lead it by 12. Jackets triggered in, up top to Varnador. Varnador back to JJ. Inside the Deeds, Deeds kicks it back out. Three pointer from Malachi, no good. Rebound by Lamonte. Goes up and has a shot blocked, but a whistle. And it looks like we're going to get Lamonte Deeds. We'll step to the line. Foul was on L.J. Barnum, his first. Deeds has eight. Made the first one, makes it 27-14. Gets them both. Lamonte now with 10 in the game, 28-14. Jackets push the lead back to 14. Doubled up the Pirates. Ball stolen by the Jackets inside. Pushing with tempo up the floor. Tries to get it off to Malachi, and it's going to be knocked away by the Pirates out of bounds. We'll stay with the Jackets. Jackets will inbound on the near side. Jaquan Adams will trigger it in. Tries to get it inside the deeds, knocked away by the Pirates, and here they come the other way with Toppy. Working far side. Rolls it back up top, Jacket in it with a trap. Get the ball out. Runner, no good. Intercepted by the Jackets. Here we come the other way. One on three, fast break. Malachi takes it away, leaves it up short. Ball on the floor. Jackets trying to come out of that. We're going to get a hell ball underneath, and that will belong to the Pirates on the alternating possession. With a minute 57 remaining. Once again, the 10 new boys, the state champions in GRPA football. Jackets won all three age groups, 8, 10, and 12. Pass out of bounds. Turnover by the Pirates. The Jackets will get it back with a minute 53. And Jackets will inbound at midcourt. Benjamin gets it off to Varnador. Varnador in traffic. Gets it back out to J.J. Appling County running a trap defense. It gets off to Malachi. 
Malachi back to J.J. down to Varnador. Varnador tries to go inside. Ball's on the floor. Scramble for it and gets out of bounds. And Malachi Smith couldn't save it. So Jackets turn it over with a minute 35 to go. Jeff Davis up by 14, 28-14. Been a good first half of the Jackets. Playing extremely well on defense. Created a lot of turnovers. Jacket. Pirates attack down low. Throw the ball away and another turnover. The Jackets pressure defense. Forces a bad pass. And here we go the other way with a minute 24 remaining. Haven't had much to say about the shot clock in this fast-paced game. Malachi starts to drive and we'll get a whistle and a foul on the Pirates. Jaquan Adams will trigger it in. Kinsey picks up his first foul. Malachi gets it across to J.J. J.J. back to Malachi inside to Deeds. Deeds drives underneath, puts it up and in, check that. That was, that was Lamonte Deeds with the two. Pass inside, ball on the floor. Jackets pick it up, tie it up. 30 to 14. And that ball was, you no, know, possession arrow points to the Jackets. Again, good defense by the Jackets as they forced another turnover there with the hell ball. Bonnardor gets it on the far side, in trouble. Tries to clear it out, gets it down low to Deeds. Deeds almost lost it out of bounds, but controls the dribble. Back to Varnador. Varnador too tall. That's going to go over and back. Back and picks it up on the long drive. Blocked from behind by J.J., but a foul on Shane Gillis, who will step to the line and shoot two. And J.J. Benjamin will pick up the foul. His first foul, five team fouls now on the Jackets. Little Conaway waiting to check in. First shot rolls around and falls through. For Shane Gillis. Thirty fifteen again. Jackets have doubled up the Pirates. Gillis will shoot the second. That one's off the back rim too hard. Underneath, powered up and in by Hickok. He's got six in the game for Athens. 30 17, 30 seconds to play. Shot puck is off. Malachi gets it underneath to Deeds. Deeds drives to the hoop. Hit from behind. Another good follow up underneath by J.J. Benjamin. He puts it in. He's got seven. Applin comes back the other way, 32-17. Foul up top with 10 seconds to play. Bad foul that time by the Jackets. Jaquan Adams back in for Jeff Davis. As Malachi, J.J. Benjamin picks up his second foul. Five to shoot. Gets it down low. Long three-pointer launched away, and he buried it at the buzzer. That was Howell with the long three at the buzzer. Your score at the half. Jeff Davis, 32. Appling County, 20. We'll take a two-minute timeout. Get some words from our sponsors. We'll be back with the halftime show after two minutes here on the Jeff Davis Hospital Basketball Network. Make tailgating easy and delicious with help from Three Rivers Meat Company in Hazelhurst. Three Rivers Meat Company offers specialty cuts of beef, pork, chicken, and seafood. They also have several types of the in-house made fresh sausage. If you need a grill, they're an exclusive dealer for Traeger Grills in Hazelhurst. To place your order in advance, call 912-551-9621 or visit their beautiful meat counter at 90 West Coffee Street. 
Go Jackets from Derek Wooten and the Meat Professionals at Three Rivers Meat Company in Hazelhurst. At Altima Hall Bank & Trust, we strive to help you live your best life. That means offering loans for nearly any dream or goal. With competitive rates, local processing, and quick decisions, we can customize a loan to fit your needs. This is Misty Boatwright, Relationship Manager at the Hazelhurst Bridge. Come see me today at 57 North Tallahassee Street or visit our website at altimahall.bank. And let's work together to achieve your financial goals. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. The Bank of Hazelhurst is Jeff Davis County's only locally owned and operated bank, serving their friends and family since 1906. They offer a wide array of services, including personal, commercial, and electronic banking services, along with mortgage and ag lending. For more information on the services they offer, Call them at 912-375-4228. Download their banking app or contact them online at bankofhazelhurst.com. The Bank of Hazelhurst. When others have their branches, they have their roots. Since their founding in 1968, the Beasley Group has become a vertically integrated leader in the forest products industry, and this growth has made them the largest hardwood sawmill in the United States and North America's foremost producer of crane mats and timbers for the energy transmission, utility, and construction industries. The Beasley Group is proud to be members of the Hazelhurst and Jeff Davis County community. They are also proud supporters of all Jeff Davis High School sports. Go Jackets from the Beasley Group. Back here at the Jackets Nest where we're at the half of the boys game. Jeff Davis, 32, Appling County, 20. Good half of basketball for the Jackets. Lamonte Deeds leads the Jackets with 12 points in the first half. You got J.J. Benjamin with seven. You have Leighton Barnador with six. He's got a pair of three-pointers. With two points, you've got Bobby Jones, Malachi Smith, and Latrell Sellers all with two. Only Jackets in foul trouble. You've got Bobby Jones with two, Malachi Smith with two, J.J. Benjamin two, and Latrell Sellers with two fouls. For the Pirates, Camden, Chandler, Camden Hickok leads them with six points, and Kevin Mitchell has four for the Pirates here at the half. As once again, we want to congratulate our 10U football team winning a GRPA state championship this afternoon up in Carrollton. Earlier this afternoon, our 8U boys won, also won the state championship. And last weekend here in Hazelhurst, our 12U boys football team won state. And so the jacket, Jeff Davis Recreation Department, the Baby Jackets sweep GRPA football winning 8U, 10U, and 12U to bring a bright, bright future to Jeff Davis football as we come off of a tough, tough season and get ready to look ahead towards better things down the road. Right now, up in Atlanta in the GHSA State Football Championships, Ware County all over Warner Robins in the second quarter, 24-6. That's in class 5A action. In the 3A state finals, Sandy Creek defeated Cedar Grove earlier today, 21-17. 6A last night, Langston Hughes, uh, check, Langston Hughes Panthers over Gainesville, 35-28. And a thriller in 4A, Benedictine 14, Cedar Town 13. Benedictine held Cedar Town four times in, inside the two-yard line at the end of the game and made a stop at the one on the final play of the game to preserve that state championship. Thompson Bulldogs in 2A defeated Fitzgerald 32-27. It was Prince Avenue Christian in single-A Division I, 52. Swainsboro Tigers, 34. And in the first game of the event, it was the Bowden Red Devils in single-A Division II. That was on Thursday. 39 and Sly County Wildcats 31. So there you have all the action from the Georgia Dome and the GHSA State Championship football. Later tonight in the finale, Mill Creek will take on Carrollton 
in the Class 7A Finals. So there you have it. There you got to date with all the GHSA football action. And they also were playing flag football up there. Let's see if I can get you the scores on those. Let's see here. And Southeast Bullock, Lithia Springs, and Blessed Trinity all winning state titles in girls' flag football. So that's a relatively new sport. We're here at the half. Jeff Davis, 32, Appling County, 20. And it's been the jacket defense that's been the story here the first half as they have been relentless on the defense, creating multiple turnovers for the Pirates, which have led to a lot of fast break opportunities for the Jackets. The Batman's been playing solid defense. They they get back quickly on the turnovers, and we've had to work really hard to get points off of those turnovers. So the Jackets have taken a 12-point lead here in the second half of play as this Jackets defense again, Lamonte Deeds leading the way with 12 first-half points. And... Uh, Right behind him is J.J. Benjamin with seven. Leighton Barnardo has a pair of three-pointers to chip in with six points. So we'll be heading into the second half of action here coming up. Let's take a two-minute timeout. Get some words from our sponsors. Two minutes on the Jeff Davis Hospital Sports Network. Two-minute commercial break here on the Jeff Davis Hospital Sports Network. CNH Creative Flooring can make your floors beautiful. They are this area's foremost experts when it comes to concrete grinding, polishing, crack repair, and epoxy coatings. They offer hundreds of color epoxy flake systems to choose from, custom metallics, neat coats, inlaid emblems, and much more. Whether it's your home, garage, man cave, pool deck, sidewalks, porches, or carport, let us help you make it gorgeous, safe, colorful, and skid resistant. Call Daryl Hutto at 912-381-9037 or Cody Carter at 912-592-5493 or message them on Facebook. EP American Footwear in Hazelhurst is proud to be a part of the Hazelhurst Jeff Davis community and are proud sponsors of all Jeff Davis County sports. If you're looking for a great job with a great company, they are hiring for all shifts. You can apply in person Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 at 10 North Hill Street in Hazelhurst. Go Jackets from all the folks at EP American Footwear of Hazelhurst. Go Jackets! Experience a better way to bank at Interstate Credit Union in Hazelhurst, where they offer a wide variety of loans. Interstate Credit Union is second to none when it comes to low rates and great customer service, specializing in personal loans, new home and construction loans, and automobile loans, as well as many other types. Their broad services include personal checking, savings, business, in-person, online, and mobile banking, and much, much more. Visit them at 14 Henson Street or call 912-375-0640, or you can contact them online at interstatecu.org. At Jeff Davis Hospital in Hazelhurst, we are committed to building a healthy community. We use the latest technology, and our knowledgeable team members provide exceptional, state-of-the-art care to our local community and surrounding areas. We provide a respectful understanding of care for our patients and their loved ones. For more information about Jeff Davis Hospital and the services we provide, call 912-375-7781 or visit us online at jeffdavishospital.org. Dr. Kurtman Syak and his health care professionals at the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic care about their patients. The Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic offers prompt health care for acute sicknesses and treatments for a wide range of non-emergency illnesses and injuries. To make an appointment, call 912-375-4884 or visit them at 22 Cross Street in Hazelhurst. Go Jackets and God bless from Dr. Kurtman Syak and his team at the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic. Getting ready to start the second half. Jeff Davis, 32, Appling County, 20. The Pirates will inbound at midcourt. Jackets in a 2-3 zone. Pirates work the ball underneath. Jackets collapse on defense. Turnaround jumper short and a foul. And Camden Hickok 
He had six points in the first half. Will step to the line. Lamonte Deeds picks up his second, his third foul. Check that. He's in foul trouble here early. First shot off the front rim and in for Hickok. He's now got seven points. Second one buries it, the second one, and that gives him eight on the game. Happening in the full court press. Malachi Smith on the inbounds. We get a blocking foul against the Pirates. 32-22. Jackets lead is 10. Malachi Smith on the feeds underneath to Latrell Sellers who lays it up and in. Latrell Sellers with four points. Jackets push the lead back to 12. Happen quickly down court. Jackets continue to work defense. Three-pointer on the way. Turn around, shot no good. Lamonte deep. Check that. Latrell Sellers clears it away inside. And J.J. Benjamin puts it up to Malachi Smith. Back to Benjamin. Benjamin up high. Across to Smith. Smith back to Benjamin. Benjamin work, tries to get it inside. Stolen away by the Pirates. They have the numbers going the other way, but put the ball on the floor and stolen by the Jackets. They turn it back the other way, and Pirates jump in, knock the ball out of bounds, and stay with Jeff Davis. Benjamin gets the ball in the backcourt, gets up to Bobby Jones. Jones, three-pointer off the far side iron, up and rebounding. Latrell Sellers no good. Fight for the rebound underneath, goes to the Pirates. Pirates try to clear it out underneath. Back to Bobby Jones, and he lays it up and in. Four points for Jones, and the Jackets push the lead to 14 and get a quick timeout call by Applin County. Let's take 30-second timeout with them here on the Jeff Davis Hospital Sports Network. Need salvage parts for your new or late model car or truck? Then you should call McCarty Auto Parts, where parts arrive daily, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, at their location at 118 Ottawa Hall Road in Hazelhurst. Check out their inventory online 24-7 at McCartyAuto.com. If they don't have the parts you need, they'll find it. Call McCarty Auto Parts in Hazelhurst for all your salvage part needs. 1-800-329-7258. Go Jackets. Thank our streaming sponsor, the Beasley Group, and also game sponsors, Three Rivers Meat Company, Mitch's Pharmacy, Ottawa Hall Bank and Trust, and EP American Footwear. 36-22, Jackets with the 14-point lead with 6.39 remaining here in the third period. Jackets led by 12 at the half. Happen will then pound in the backcourt. Darius Howell pushes it up the floor for the Pirates. Work it near side to NJ. Back up top to Howell. Howell, NJ, three-pointer on the way, off the side of the rim, rebound by Lamonte Deeds. Gets it back to Bobby Jones. Jones quickly up court. Down in the corner to underneath the Deeds. Deeds drives the lane, tries to put it up, has it blocked, out of bounds, belongs to the Pirates. 36-22, Jackets lead it with 6.07 here in the third period. Ball tipped and out of bounds. We'll stay with Applin County. Go inside, knocked away. On the floor, picked up by J.J. Benjamin. He's grabbed from behind by Kevin Mitchell, and that will be a foul on Applin County. Kevin Mitchell picks up his first foul. Check that is second foul. Jackets will inbound on the near side. Two team fouls on the Pirates. Lock pass too long down court and is stolen by Camden Hick Hickok. Hick takes it inside. The shot is up and no good by 
in LJ Nash, Nance. And LJ will come to the line. Jackets up 14 with 540, but a couple of freebies coming up for the Pirates. Bobby Jones picks up his third foul. Jackets have some guys in foul trouble. Too hard off the back iron by L.J. Nance. Jalen Williams will check in for the Pirates. For Darius Howell. L.J. Rolls that one in off the front iron. He's got two in the game. Jackets push it quickly the other way. Malachi going to get fouled on the drive to the basket. They say the foul was on the floor, so it'll be it. And Jackets will inbound underneath their own basket. As Kevin Mitchell picks up his third. Jones to inbound. Cross court shot by Malachi. Off the iron, no good. Up high for the rebound is Lamonte Deeds, but loses it out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Jackets. It was knocked out by Applin, but it's going to be overruled. The backcourt official says it belongs to Applin. 5.31 remaining. Jackets lead it by 13, 36, 23. Applin pushing it up court. Cross court pass to Hickok. Up, no good. Fight for it underneath. Ball is held and will go towards the Jackets on the possession arrow. So Jeff Davis will inbound. Bobby Jones under basket gets it into JJ. Back cross court to Bobby, tips it up to Malachi under pressure. Malachi has numbers, drives lane, drops it off to Deeds. Deeds up and in. Lamonte Deeds now with 14. Jackets 38, Appen 23. Push it inside, shot off the glass, no good. That happened with the rebound by Kevin Mitchell's gonna be fouled from behind. And he'll step to the line to shoot a couple. Bobby Jones picks up his fourth foul. He's gonna have to go to the bench. Just barely kissed the front iron was Kevin Mitchell's shot. Jaquan Adams in to replace Bobby Jones. You've got Benjamin Deeds, Sellers, Adams, and Malachi Smith with the five on the floor for the Jackets. 458 to play. Mitchell makes a second. He's got five in the game. Jackets press full court. Malachi Smith breaks the press. This is off to Benjamin. Benjamin back to Malachi. Malachi up top, dribbling through the pressure. Gets it inside to Deeds. Deeds tries to drive the lane, loses the dribble. Here comes Baplin the other way with numbers. Going back to Hickok. Hickok lays it up and in. He's got a hoop and some harm. Nice scoop layup there by Camden Hickok. And he'll step to the line to try to create the Three-point play, Jaquan Adams picks up his first foul. Check that is second foul. Thirty-eight twenty-six. As Hickok will try to complete the old fashioned three point play. He's got ten in the game. Buries the shot. He's got 11. And the Jackets lead is 11. Malachi Smith trapped in the far corner. Knocked out of bounds by Hickok. And stay with the Jackets. Deeds will trigger it in. Smith back in the backcourt. Half and pressing. Gets to Malachi who dribbles through traffic up ahead to Benjamin. Benjamin drives the lane. We're going to get a whistle. I believe we got contact out front. Blocking foul against Jalen Williams, his second. Jackets inbound on the baseline. 
Get it in to Malachi. Malachi up top to Benjamin. Happen stays in that 2-3 zone. Near side to Adams. Adams sends it in to Deeds. Deeds back out to Benjamin. Benjamin picks the dribble up over to Malachi. Top of the key, three-pointer. Good by J.J. Benjamin. He's got 11, 10 in the game. 41-27, Jackets with the lead. Stolen inside by Sellers. Benjamin on the drive through traffic, lays it up and in with the left hand. Benjamin with 12. And the Jackets push the lead to 43-27. to And a timeout on the floor. Let's take 30-second timeout with them here on the Jeff Davis Hospital Sports Network. Make the switch to Mitch for all your over-the-counter and prescription medicine needs. Take advantage of their drive-up window, curbside, and delivery services. The health of you and your family is their priority. Make the switch to Mitch, located at 5 East Coffee Street in Hazelhurst, Monday through Friday from 9 to 6 and 9 to noon on Saturday. Give them a call at 912-699-3784 and make sure to follow them on Facebook. I also want to thank our sponsor, Southern Eye Care, Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic, Williams Brothers Trucking, and Interstate Credit Union. 3.58 remaining here in the third period. Jackets lead it by 16, 43 to 27. Jackets led by 12 at the half. They've pushed the lead out now to 16. Pirates will inbound in the backcourt. Jackets show a 2-3 zone. Howell back in the game for the Pirates at the point. Work it inside. Tep stolen, recovered by Applin on the drive. Turn around, jumper by Mitchell is good. He's got seven points in the game, 43-23. 43-28, rather. Foul on the far side. Make it 43-29. We'll get it straight in a minute. 331 remaining. Jalen Williams just picked up his third foul. Long pass into Benjamin. Benjamin back to Smith. Smith in a trap on the far side. Gets it to J.J. J.J. almost loses dribble. Now he has that one knocked off his foot and out of bounds and go to the Pirates. Applin County trapping up high. And Jackett's got to move without the ball to help him out. 3.20 remaining in the third quarter. Applin on the attack, cross court. Ball kicked by the Jackets. and be out of bounds for Applin. They will reset the 35 second clock. Applin inbound on the baseline. Near side. Gets off to LJ. LJ Nash loses the dribble. Back behind. Chase down. Clears it back out. Three point attempt on the way by Howell. No good. Underneath the foul. And we're going to get a call on the Pirates as Jaquan Adams crashing the boards. Was fouled by the Pirates. And that should put it, him at the line. As L.J. Nash picks up his second foul, 16 fouls now on the Pirates, and Jaquan Adams will go to the line to shoot the one if one. Sellers, Deeds, Adams, Malachi Smith, and J.J. Benjamin, the five on the floor for the Jackets, with three minutes left in the third quarter, and the Jackets up 43-29. The lead is 14. First one is nothing but the bottom of the net. Adams with four points. Two bounces and the shot up. Again, string music for Jaquan Adams. He's got five, and Applin comes quickly the other way. Howell pulls it back out. Near side ball goes inside. Turnaround jumper from three feet. Good by Kevin Mitchell, he's got nine in the game. 45-31. 
2.40 to play. Malachi Smith trap, gets it to Deeds. Deeds fights through traffic, drives the lane, drops it off to Latrell Sellers, who puts it up, rolls out, but a foul underneath. And the freshman will go to the line to shoot a couple. Check that. They're going to call the foul on the Jackets. Lamonte Deeds picks up his third. Five team fouls now on Jeff Davis. 2.30 here in the third. Passes inside. They come near side. Ball shot underneath. Rebound by the Jackets. Camden Hickok came up empty underneath. Malachi Smith, dangerous pass across court, but Benjamin saves it. Now he's pushing it down the court, drives underneath, leaves it off to Sellers. Sellers off the backboard, no good, and a charging foul is going to be called against J.J. Benjamin. He's got three now. Shot on the way from the Pirates on the near side. The ball's out of bounds. We'll stay with Appling. 2.08 remaining in the third period. Jackets 45, Appling 31. Pirates inbound, three-pointer, far side. A hoop and a foul, and he's going to have a chance for a four-point play. As MJ Nash buried the three to give him six. We'll have a timeout taken here. Let's take another timeout, too. 30-second break. This is the Jeff Davis Hospital Sports Network. Make the switch to Mitch, not only for your prescription needs, but also for your gift. Silas Worth Monument Company offers factory direct orders from memorial designs to remember your loved ones. They can create one-of-a-kind computer designs or traditional monuments. You can choose your remembrance in beautiful granite, marble, bronze, or cremation monuments. Call Victor Worth and his staff today at 912-375-4587 or visit their location at 353 Alma Highway in Hazelhurst. Also visit them online at silasworthmonument.com. Hit by 11. But N.J. Nash is going to be able to step to the line. Chance to complete a four-point play as he buried a three and was fouled by Lamonte Deeds, who now carries four fouls. Shot is up and good. Nash now with seven points in the game. Jackets push the ball up for Malachi Smith. Drives underneath. Tries to drop it off to Dee to lose on full. Picked up by Bobby Jones and up and in. Check that. That was Malachi Smith. Drive by Pirates on the inbound. So two points the other way, and here come the Jackets. Sellers has it up high, gets it off to Benjamin. Benjamin far side to Smith. Smith back to Benjamin. Benjamin at the top of the key, driving. Gets it off to Sellers. Sellers from the left side, good. Latrell Sellers with six points. 49-37, Jackets put the lead at 12. Ball out of bounds on the near side. Latrell Sellers. Comes up limping here as he went down hard. And we're going to get a timeout here on the floor. Sellers may have rolled an ankle. Amari Jackson, the freshman, 6'5", freshman is going to check in. Sellers limping slowly. Off to the sideline. Happen inbound. Working the ball at the top of the key. Comes near side. LJ with a shot. No good. 
Rebound, fight for the rebound, knocked out of bounds by Applin will belong to Jeff Davis. Got Smith. Benjamin. Bobby Jones, Jafon Adams, and Amari Mitchell on the floor for the Jackets. Ball thrown away, but saved by Malachi, Bobby Jones, a hoop and a harm. Oh, no, they say he traveled. Bobby can't believe it. 50 seconds remaining. Jackets lead it 49-37. Pirates bring it up the floor. Try to go to the far side. Three-point attempt on the way. No good. Rebound by J.J. Benjamin. Going to take it the other way. Shot clock still on. About a two-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. We're going to get a whistle way up top. Get a foul. Now that foul is going to be on L.J. Nash. That is his third. And Malachi Smith will step to the line to shoot two with 31, with 30 seconds remaining in the half. Just too hard off the back rim, and Applin controls the board till they come the other way. Under 25, driving the lane, layup is no good, and a whistle underneath. And I think they're going to get J.J. Benjamin. Check that, that's Leighton Varnador with the call, with the foul. I don't see Varnador on the floor. But at the line is the Pirates shooting one. That's good. Amari Jackson with the foul. 33, not just three. Second shot on the way by the Pirates. That rolls around and rolls in. 49-33. 49-39, rather. Jackets push it up quickly. Hits off to Varnado. Varnado works a lot far as I kicks it out to. Benjamin off the glass, no good. Up high for the rebound is... Amari Jackson, and he goes down. And the ball's going to go the other way. Bobby Jones checks out. J.J. Benjamin back in. Happen, pushing it up quickly. Ball loose on the floor. Got a contact inside, no good, but Kevin Mitchell's going to take the dish. He's going to score right before the buzzer, and that's going to be the end of the third quarter. Applin County cuts it to eight here at the buzzer, 49-41. Applin County trails the Jackets by eight. Let's take a 60-second timeout. This is the Jeff Davis Hospital Sports Network. Williams. Brothers Trucking is now hiring qualified CDL Class A licensed drivers with at least two years over the road tractor trailer experience. Williams Brothers Trucking has an excellent benefits package. They have quarterly bonuses. They have great insurance. They offer flexibility as far as your work schedule. Um, you're not really pressured into starting at any certain time throughout the day. Be home every day with family owned and operated Williams Brothers Trucking. Apply now online. Go Jackets! Your eyes are your window to the world around you, and good vision is important to everyone. At Southern Eye Care, you can count on their expertise in treating all types of vision problems to help you see your best. From glasses to contact lenses, from surgical vision correction to treatment of eye disease and injury, their team is here to help take care of your eyes. Your vision matters at Southern Eye Care in Hazelhurst. Call them for an appointment at 912-375-2516 or visit them online at southerneyecarepc.com. Jackets 49, Pirates 41. Thank our sponsors, Bank of Hazelhurst, Silas Worth Monument, McCarty Auto Parts, C&H, Creative Flooring. Jackets will get the ball to start the fourth period of play. Bobby Jones will trigger it in. Got several guys in foul trouble. Go down deep to Varnador. Varnador fights away and gets the ball into Jones. Jones far side. Jaquan Adams drives the lane far side, lays it up and in. 
Seven points for Adams. Jackets push the lead back to 11, 50, 49, 50, 30, 51, 43. We'll get it right in a minute. 51, 41 is the score. I'll get changing the scoreboard on us here. Jackets steal the ball in, on the trap, get it back on the floor, and we get a timeout call by Coach Johnson as he saw our guys in trouble in the backcourt. About to get a 10-second call. We're going to keep it right here on this quick timeout. 7.31 is the time remaining in the game. Jackets lead it by 10, 51-41. I'd like to thank, our, of course, our network sponsor, Jeff Davis Hospital, our live stream sponsor, the Beasley Group, all of our alumni sponsors. We appreciate all their support of Jeff Davis Sports and Athletics. Three Rivers Meat Company, Mitch's Pharmacy, Southern Eye Care, Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic, Bank of Hazelhurst, Silas Worth Monument, EP American Footwear, Altima Bank and Trust, Williams Brothers Trucking, Interstate Credit Union, McCarty Auto Parts, and CNH Creative Flooring. Without all those fine folks, we can't bring you these sporting events. And be on the lookout as we'll be out selling the spring sports package coming up here this month on the floor. Bobby Jones in trouble, and we're going to get a reach-in foul on the Pirates, and we got bailed out right there as Jones lost his balance, went down, and was trying to dribble from his rear of his pants there. Foul was on N.J. Nash, his third. 25 on the shot clock on the reset. Ball in loose on the floor, picked up by the Pirates. Quickly down the floor. Jackets got back on defense and forced them to pull it out. Howell has it up top, goes far side. Driving the lane, lays it up. High off the glass, no good. Rebound by J.J. Benjamin, but stolen by the Pirates. Hooping some harm. And I'm afraid Bobby Jones just made, committed his fifth foul. as the trail sellers and Jaquan Adams check back in Bobby Jones and Leighton Varnador come out 41-51 Jackets up by 10 7.05 remaining 51-43 rather he buried that one and so the Jackets push it down for Malachi Smith working near side Circles back up top, gets it to Jaquan. Jaquan up to J.J. J.J. gets it inside to Deeds. Deeds turns, tries to drive, ball stolen by the Pirates. Down floor quickly on the drive. The Jackets knock it away, but J.J. Benjamin's going to get charged for the reach-in foul. 6.46 to go, 51-44, and the Pirates can cut it to five. They've stepped up the pressure on defense, and we've been loose with the basketball, and that's allowed him to get back in this game. Jackets led as many as 16 earlier in the half. Nothing but net. Fifty-one forty-five. Got them both. Jackets up, almost stolen by the Pirates. The trail Sellers, the driving has it knocked away from behind. It'll stay with the Jackets, and that's the athletic Pirate defense. They're just flying up and down the floor and grabbing at every, every ball. The time the Jackets put the ball on the floor, the Pirates are attacking. Inbound to Smith. Smith comes to Benjamin. Benjamin three-pointer. Good! J.J. Benjamin now with 16 on the night. He buried the three. 54, 45, nine point lead for the Jackets, six and a half to go. Long three on the way, no good. Rebound underneath by Benjamin and held ball. It's gonna stay with Appling County. As again, the Pirates relentless on attacking the basketball. 54, 46. Jackets up by eight. 
LJ drops, drops it off underneath to Mitchell. Mitchell with the easy two points. He's got 12. The Pirates cut into the lead. Malachi Smith drives through trap. We're going to get a blocking foul on the Pirates. 54 48. Six point lead for the Jackets. MJ Nash committed his fourth foul. Malachi Smith on the dribble. A trap by the Pirates. Gets it out. Shot. Three point of 10 is blocked. J.J. Benjamin had that one knocked up into the bleachers. 6.02 remaining, 25 on the shot clock. Jackets will inbound on the far side. Hit it inside to Sellers. Sellers tried to go underneath to Benjamin. Benjamin, Jaquan Adams rather trapped down low. He's tied up. Will he get a whistle? Camden Hickok picks up the foul. Jackets will inbound underneath their own basket. Get it into Deeds. Deeds too strong off the glass. Rebound by the Pirates. And they're going to get Latrell Sellers on the reach-in foul. Latrell picks up his third foul. Jackets 54. Pirates 48. Jackets up by six, 5.45 remaining in the ball game. Appling on the attack. Works it inside, back up top to Howell. Howell kicks it far side. Three-point attempt on the way. Good by N.J. Nash. He's got 10 in the game. Jackets trapped in the backcourt. Get it ahead to Sellers. Sellers from behind. Appling ties it up, but the possession arrow goes to Jeff Davis. They are relentless going after the dribble. We've got to move the ball with the pass a little bit crisper. They're really working on the ball on the floor. Sellers gets it inbound, back up top to JJ. JJ drives the lane, runner from about eight feet, no good, blocked out. Here comes Applin out on the break. Mitchell lays it up, no good. Coming in on, from behind, gonna be NJ Nash, LJ Nash rather, he's gonna get the foul. And the Jacks fourth team foul on the Pirates, 513 remaining. Jackets up by three, 54 51. Kaplan County pushing it. Nance, LJ Nance now with four. Malachi Smith in. Kaplan traps up court to Jaquan Adams. Adams gets it back to Benjamin on the far side. Benjamin in a trap. Here comes Kaplan attacking, Jack and Jackson's going to take a timeout as Coach Johnson saw the trap. Got the timeout call, 5.01 remaining, 30-second timeout here on the Jeff Davis Hospital Sports Network. Make tailgating easy and delicious with help from Three Rivers Meat Company in Hazelhurst. Three Rivers Meat Company offers specialty cuts of beef, pork, chicken, and seafood. They also have several types of the in-house made fresh sausage. If you need a grill, they're an exclusive dealer for Traeger Grills in Hazelhurst. To place your order in advance, call 912-551-9621 or visit their beautiful meat counter at 90 West Coffee Street. Go Jackets from Derek Wooten and the Meat Professionals at Three Rivers Meat Company in Hazelhurst. 501 remaining in the game. Jackets lead by has been cut to three. 54-51. Possession arrow favors the Pirates. And this is where... Coach Johnson's got to work his young team through the pressure. Applin's come storming back after being down by about 16 earlier in the half. It's now down to three, one possession game. Way up top is Benjamin. Under pressure, tries to go underneath, stolen underneath by Mitchell for the Pirates, and here he comes pushing it the other way quickly. On the drive, he leaves it back outside. Up top to Howell, Howell three-pointer, missed everything. Out of bounds belongs to Jeff Davis with 438 remaining. Got to take better care of the basketball. When you make the pass, it's got to be on. Can't try to force the ball through traffic, and that's where Applin has created a lot of turnovers, adding a attacking the dribble. 
Benjamin and Smith run the ball up, get it across court to Adams. Adams drops it back to Malachi. Malachi working on the far side, drives into traffic, a steal by Mitchell. Here go, goes on a breakaway, lays it up and in. It's a one-point game as Mitchell now has 14. 54-53, down to Sellers, down low, gets it across court, but back, Applin getting back on defense, knocks it away from Amante Deeds under the basket. Ball stays with a jacket, 4-14 remaining, and we're down to a one-point game. Get it inside to Deeds. Deeds too hard off the glass. Ball loose on the floor. Here comes Applin, three on two, fast break. Underneath the ball's fouled, out of bounds. Say it goes over to Jeff Davis. Applin County with the turnover on the loose ball. 4.05 remaining, 54-53. Jackets lead by one. Applin County with a couple of subs. 14 fouls for the Pirates, three for the Jackets. Possession error favoring the Pirates. Benjamin takes it up court, gets it across court to Adams. Adams to Sellers. Sellers tries to kick it down low, knocks out of bounds, goes to the Pirates. Goes stays with the Jackets, rather. Tries to get it inside the Deeds, but it's tipped away and goes to Latrell Sellers. We'll get a foul underneath, a pushing foul against the Pirates. Kevin Mitchell picks up his third. Jackets will inbound on the baseline. Get it out to Malachi. Malachi finds Sellers underneath and he's up for two. 16, check that, 18 points for Latrell Sellers. Jacket pushed the lead to three, 56-53. Here come the Pirates. Working far side. Jackets defense into Mitchell. Mitchell kicks it back up top. Ball loose. Over and back call and the Jackets. They say no over and back. One official called it, the other one overruled it. 325 remaining. Three point game. Driving the lane, jumping short, no good. Rebound by Apping on the far side. Hickok puts it in for his 13th point. Leads back, cut to one. Benjamin cross court to Jaquan Adams. Adams gets it back up, oh, stolen by the Pirates. Here they come, can take the lead here. On the drive, too hard off the glass, but a whistle and a foul from behind with 3.01 remaining, 56-55. There's a score right now, but Applin fishing a step to the line with a chance to take the lead with three minutes left. Malachi Smith picked up his third foul. Five team fouls on Applin, four on the Jackets. In and out. So now this one can tie it for the Jackets. MJ Nash at the line. He's got seven on the night. Make it eight. We're tied, 56 all. Jackets trying to get the ball up court under pressure. Malachi Smith across to Benjamin. Benjamin gets it up court to Adams. Adams trapped on the corner. And we'll get a foul. And Jackets will go the line. It's going to put the Jackets in the bonus. As Kevin Mitchell committed his fourth. Gonna put Lamonte Deeds at the foul line. Deeds has 14. In and out, Appen rebounds, pushing it back up. Tie ball game at 56 each. Appen drives up to under un shot, followed no good. Another follow this cut goes in and a foul call. And the Applin County would try to stretch the lead to three. Jalen Williams got the put back and the foul. As Latrell Sellers picks up his fourth. Barnardor comes in, Sellers steps out. 
Both teams in the bonus now. No good, rebound. Fighting for it underneath and we get a foul. And I believe that's gonna be on Hickok. And they'll go the other way and the Jackets will have a chance. Fifty-eight, fifty-six. Applin with the lead. Jaquan Adams at the line to shoot. The bonus, one and one. Got to make the free ones down the stretch here. Rolls it around and in. Adams now with eight. Chance to tie it up, 58-57. Ah, rattled around, finally fell through. Adams with nine and we're tied at 58 apiece. Applin. On the drive, 2.30 remaining in the ball game. Jacket starting man to man. Mitchell has it up high, gives it back off to LJ. LJ trying to drive, drops it near side. On the baseline drive, floater up and good by Solomon. Happened backed up front by two, 60-58. A lot of contact at midcourt. Varnador has it far side. Tries to go underneath, underneath to Deeds. Deeds puts it up and in. Lamonte Deeds with 18. Tied again at 60. Minute 55 remaining in the ball game. Happened with the ball. Jackets guarding man to man across the floor. Kicks out far side. Three pointer on the way. No good. Rebound taken by the Jackets as JJ Benjamin clears it out of there. Pushing it up court. Off to Varnador. Varnador has it blocked. Out of bounds and stay with the Jackets. Smart move by Leighton Varnador there as he knew the ball was out of bounds. Stay with the Jackets and he shielded, used his body to shield Applin away from it from knocking it back in. Latrell Sellers in, Jaquan Adams out. Sellers, the freshman, inbounds it to Malachi Smith. Smith gets it inside to Varnador. Varnador far side. Benjamin drives baseline underneath to Deeds. Deeds puts it up, but it's fouled. Lamonte Deeds will go to the line, a chance to give the Jackets a lead with a minute 23 remaining. And NJ Nash is fouled out of the ball game. Jaquan Adams in, Latrell Sellers takes a seat and put Adams in for defense. Lamonte Deeds with a chance to give the Jackets the lead. Rolls the first one in. He's got 19. 123 remaining. Jackets up by one. Can we make it two? That was too hard off the iron. Applin with the rebound, pushing it quickly up the floor. Dishes off, running near side. We get a whistle on the near side. And I think Applin County may have called a timeout. And we do timeout on the floor. Let's take a 30-second timeout here on the Jeff Davis Hospital Sports Network. At Altamaha Hall Bank & Trust, we strive to help you live your best life. That means offering loans for nearly any dream or goal. With competitive rates, local processing, and quick decisions, we can customize a loan to fit your needs. This is Misty Boatwright, Relationship Manager at the Hazelhurst Branch. Come see me today at 57 North Tallahassee Street or visit our website at altamahall.bank. And let's work together to achieve your financial goals. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Seventy-nine seconds remain in this one. Jeff Davis leads it 61-60. Applin County with possession. Possession arrow also favoring Applin. Both teams are in the bonus. Applin to inbound underneath their own basket. Hickok is going to trigger it in for the Pirates. Jackets set up the defense along the foul line. They've 
Happen runs the screen, gets in far side, back underneath to Hickok. He puts it up and in. He has 15, and the Afton County leads by one, 62-61. Varnador gets it across the timeline, down in the corner, and going to get a turnover, passes too long, and out of bounds, and the turnover to the Jackets with a minute four to go. Jackets trail by one. That was a costly turnover right there. You get an empty possession. Happen on the attack. Mitchell drives, foul from behind. He'll step to the line with a chance to push the Pirate lead to three with 57 seconds remaining. The Trail Sellers getting ready to check back in the game. You've got Deed Smith, Adams, Benjamin, and right now Barnardo, but Sellers waiting to come in. First one from Mitchell is good. He's got 15, and the lead to Pirates is two. Sellers, the trail Sellers checks in for Jaquan Adams, so Barnardo stays on the floor. 63-61, 57 seconds remaining. But rattles out. Sellers gets the rebound, gets it off to Smith. Smith pushing it up quickly. Comes around near side, tries to drop it off the Deeds. Deeds underneath, opens some harm. Lamonte Deeds takes it hard to the basket and is going to step to the line to shoot two and give the Jackets a lead. We're tied now 63-63 with 49 seconds to go. Deeds with 21 on the night. Adams in for Varnador. Coach Johnson's going to pull everybody out from under the basket, make them get back on defense. Lamonte Deeds trying to add to the Jackets' lead. He can't do it. It's off the rim. Check it. 63-63. Happen. Has the ball near side. Works it back up top. Down on the paint dish. Hickok, Hickok, turn around, jumper is short. Rebound by Sellers. Jackets will get a chance to win it. Shot clock is off. Malachi Smith drives to the lane. He's up and he's good. Malachi Smith with a two. Jackets up by two. And a timeout on the floor by the Pirates with 22 seconds left. 65, 63. Jeff Davis with the lead, but Applin County with the ball. Possession hour still favoring the Pirates. Can we get a defensive stand here in the last 22 seconds? Pirates can tie it with a two. They could win it with a three. See if we can hang on for dear life here. We had a big lead earlier in the half. I know it was 14, may have been 16. And now the Pirates have come storming back here in the fourth quarter. Jackets trying to Pick up their second win of the year. Appling County, just their second contest. They're looking for their first win still. It's going to be Sellers, Benjamin, Malachi, Adams, and Deeds, the five on the floor for the Jackets. Appling will inbound in the backcourt with 22 seconds left. Jackets lead it 65-63. Jackets, pressure man to man. Come near side. Tries to go underneath to Hickok. Kick out the turn around and shut. Good, and he's fouled, and he's going to step to the line to give the Pirates a lead with 12 seconds to go. Bobby Jones has just fouled out, and Coach Johnson is going to take a timeout. We're tied at 65, and Camden Hickok will step to the line chance to give Applin the lead with 12 seconds remaining. Whoa, what a ball game. We have fought hard in this one, but just Applin came to play in the fourth quarter. They turned up the pressure on defense and cut the lead and finally have taken the lead a couple of times. The Jackets fought back to tie it up. Now Applin just tied it up and with the shot off of the three-point play with a chance to give themselves a lead 
and only 12 ticks left on the clock, actually 12.4. You want to be precise about this thing. Got to, if he makes it, you got to get the ball up the floor quickly and try to get a good shot. You don't need a three, a two or a foul will give you a chance to win it. You got to move quickly, but you can't, don't overrush it. Of course, if he misses, you got a rebound and probably not sure what the timeout situation is. Coach Johnson may be probably setting up both scenarios, what we do if he makes it, what we do if he misses. Got a young team out there that's trying to learn how to win here. They've been close a couple of times. They picked up a big win the other night in our last broadcast against Pierce County. Hard fought game. So they've been here before. Sellers, Vonador, Benjamin, Adams, and Malachi Smith. The five on the floor for the Jackets. Camden Hickok with a big shot coming up. Chance to give his team the lead. He drains it. He's got 15, and here come the Jackets. Almost turnover in the backcourt. Smith bats it up. Seven seconds on the play. Ball down and out of bounds, and the Jackets lose it out of bounds, and Athens going to get it back with four seconds left. The pressure defense up high cost the Jackets. And we get a timeout before the inbound oh no we get a foul called on the inbound play three and a half seconds left sixty six sixty five happen with a chance to push it to three and force it Jack is going to have to find a quick three point shot here sometime with only three and a half seconds left first one made the lead is two. Now the thought is, do you intentionally miss it and force the Jackets to waste time trying to get the ball on the loose? You want that three-point lead. It's loose. Benjamin with it. He's pushing up floor. Down for the Barnardor. Barnardor trying to get the shot off. Can't get it off. And Appling County rallies to win this one. Your final score. Applin County 67, Jeff Davis 65. What a heartbreaking loss for the Jackets, who had a huge lead, but couldn't close the deal as Applin County give the, their guys credit as they fought back on defense in the fourth quarter to turn the deficit into a two-point victory. Our next broadcast, let me pull it up here. On my calendar, I'm about out of breath here, folks. This was a wild ball game. We'll be on the air on Tuesday against Montgomery County. Be on the air at 5.50. Girls action start at 6 o'clock. Boys to follow. So make your plans to tune in and join us on Tuesday against Montgomery County. For Richard Riles and all his great student staff, they've done a, another fine job tonight on cameras and production. This is Jim Sewell. Good night, everybody.